upset as Purdue beat Tennessee 72-66. Zach Eady's 40-point dominant performance led the way. North Carolina State continues their magical run. They took down Duke in a conference battle, 76-64. Bama beat Clemson, 89-82, and UConn rolled past Illinois. Spurs ended a three-game winning streak as they went down to the Warriors, 117-113. Wimby had a game. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. How good do you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our course. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94 1. San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got a bunch to talk about. It's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. Sitting pretty there in a the blue polo. That's RJ Ochoa. I'm Rob Thompson on the easy E side of the double pane glass. That's Edwin Hefner. Uh, as RJ busily has been uh, blogging the boys, managing editor, we got some Cowboys stuff today. It looks like there's a reunion coming. Uh, we'll look, talk about the Cowboys and the free agency drama that continues. Uh, the final four, she is set and I am not singing. RJ as the uh, elite eight only brought two of mine and two of mine are making it to the final four, but that's it. Um, no singing. Sorry. Wow. I know. Everybody's a let down. How was your weekend, RJ? Did you have the, uh, weekend appropriate for easter it was uh happy easter one and all happy easter to anyone who's off today um is this is this a day off for people i think so i mean i i wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if some government you know facilities were off but um i think friday not us was the uh rob Rob does work for the government he just can't tell you exactly what he does if i did i'd have to kill most of you so uh, right but uh no it was a good weekend A, a very heavy sports weekend i was very consumed in everything happening um and it was like i mean it was it was just nirvana of sports it was basketball here baseball there basketball 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 golf golf baseball basketball boom 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 like my alerts were going crazy on my phone um i enjoyed every single second of it i'm excited for basketball to continue on the the fever is high um the madness is real and you are awesome. <laughs> I am. I am indeed. I, I appreciate the, the feels today. And man, it, I can honestly say that I've saw so I've seen every game played in this tournament. At least wow. a little bit of it. I have seen every team play, all 64 or even the 68. Now I, this has been the most watched tournament for me in a long time. And, and not I don't know like, if I should uh, be proud not, of that. Not, YouTube, not YouTube highlights. You're talking about like I watched live. from flipping from game to game. If there was yeah. games on, they were on in my house at, at, at from last Thursday, from last a week ago, Wednesday. So uh, as we wind down, I'm a little hooped out. And this week, and then you add in, uh, and for me to say it, but you add in the Spurs, which made this weekend uh, whoo, a roller coaster Friday night. What a, what the hell? What a game. See, I watched that like, I did when I was in uh, like 18 years old in 1983, tape and delayed. Uh, you know what I mean? I yeah. I stayed off the socials. I stayed away from everything. I watched college basketball, did all the, the, the Elite Eight stuff, knowing full well I wasn't going to have to put, dress up like Elvis and, and sing. And I still might do it just because, you know, that's just fun. One but I could. Um, yeah. But watching the Spurs, the Spurs and Wimby, the Knicks, what a – it, this team, this team, uh, Wimby and the Spurs just took, well, they outlasted a collapse. They survived as Brunson got 61 and his thanks was a ball he heaved into the crowd. Wimby astounding yet again. He's putting that season, you know, he's when Sugar Ray Leonard was a fighter. He always talked about closing rounds down. Like, the, you know, you hear that clap when there's 30 seconds to go in around that and everybody knows, okay, it's time to slow down. Sugar Ray Leonard always talked about winning the end of the round and influencing the judges. You know, you you land the last punch of the round, and that might be one tick, so you win that round in the judges' eyes. Um, feels like uh, Wimby's trying to win the the end of the round and get another couple of awards. As everything he did over the weekend, even in a loss, was um, he's reaching a, a level that wow, 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 
Wow. Yeah. Uh, Friday night, uh, you know, was just a what? Like who? What? When? Where? How? You know, kind of thing. Uh, I certainly did not see them winning at all, uh, let alone having some level of authority throughout the game. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't I still don't think that Wimby did enough to I mean, rookie of the year isn't even a conversation at this point, as we've said many times. I still don't think he's done enough for defensive player of the year. But I do think he's done enough to to just like there will be so many people talking about him over the summer. Like he has, for for lack of a better way to mm-hmm. put it, he has up the vibe uh, around the Spurs, which th- there is value in uh, certainly as well. But as soon as the game ended, Pledge sent me a text because he was at the game I went to last Saturday when they got waxed by Phoenix. Right. And Pledge said, well, now I'm really pissed about the way <laughs> they played when we were there. And yeah, I was just team. like, yeah, this dude, team, man. I, well, I mean, they were horrible. They were horrible that Saturday night. And then they come out Monday and they beat them without Wimby. And, I mean, then, you know, they rip off three in a row for the first time this season. I mean, and even last night. Last night was, uh, you know, I found my the, – the copium of being a sports fan is just unlike anything else in life because I found myself, even after the loss, saying, you know, well, Trey Jones did really well. You know, just kind of like talking – like I was talking myself into right. it all. So – um shout out to the spurs they uh they did very well ultra cowboys says juan yes, soto owns the astros well the yankees do so far anyway and soto my gosh that's a big old bat he's swinging um so is wimby you here's something that's incredible it's these little nuggets that kind of get tucked in the in the annals of someone's bio the spurs won three oh here it is uh victor Wembanyama's 40 20 and 7 uh, it's the second game in history where one player had 40 and 20 and another had 60. The only other time it happened was in 1961 where Elgin Baylor had 63 and Wilt had 78. It's like we're comparing Wimby now to those, what, what are the term, the Titans, the, 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 the half human, half gods that we look back. I mean, you mentioned anybody in a sentence with Elgin Baylor and Wilt Chamberlain. At any well, points in their career, you're also you're... shout out to Brunson because that was oh, all, it was. We he, haven't gotten ma- Jalen, yeah. No, but he he made it um a, like theatrical. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's one thing it's one thing for Wimby to go off, but like what what makes it riveting? What makes it theater is the back and forth, right? And so the the like they can't stop our guy, we can't stop their guy. It's just a matter of like which guy wins at the very end. And that that's what like will make it memorable, I think, when we look back on it and and say like that, that you know, down the stretch his rookie year against New York, it was Yeah, it was what we knew. Now, I don't want to take anything away from Jalen cuz it was phenomenal. And this is not meant to take away from Jalen cuz he did he was what he was supposed to do. But I got the sense, especially as the run was collapsing and and the Knicks were coming, that Pop was rope dope that he was allowing Jalen to do some things just so nobody else would. Uh, nobody else would. But the old Even if Russell he was, Westbrook. It was, it was, it's a daring move for a guy who's coaching that doesn't really matter, care if he wins or loses. But uh, I think um, that there was a little bit of rope-a-dope there. Like, ah, hey, let Jalen get his. It was still phenomenal. Wonderful to watch. Over, It's, it's more wonderful when you win those games. And so... Wimby already has 40 and 20. He has recorded a 40, 20, a five by five and a 10 block game. The only other player to do that in a career since blocks became official in 74, Anthony Davis, Hakeem Olajuwon. Wimby has done all of this in the last seven weeks. He is 40, 20 on (laughs) itself is so stupid and so dumb and so amazing. I mean, what? Like he's going to change the rules, man. We He's, saw that the rules were changed for Shaq. They're gonna this whole free movement NBA thing, this whole freedom of movement and, and not limiting access and allowing the dribble in the paint and no hands on hips and none of the stuff that old NBA. We're gonna start trending that way because if we continue to play the game as it's been officiated and allowing Wimby to do what he does, forty and twenty is gonna be his average, man. Forty oh. and twenty is gonna be just the night. It wasn't like, realistically, did he do anything extraordinary? No, he just was Wimby. The offense, in fact, is probably a little better without him. It, it was, it, it, we're reaching it was levels of a, a mouth agape, like, wow. I don't know what, 
did you hear what Walt Fraser at Clyde said after the game? He compared him to every great. Like he moves like Wilt, he shoots I mean, like wow, coming from He's a Clyde. Monster. So that's where I'm getting. I think that yeah, defensive player of the year is out of the realm. He's all NBA. He's going to get you, a, a lot of all NBA votes first team. I don't know how you can't. Ryan Rasillo is pretty pumped right now. He should be. <laughs> Although uh, the, his take was defensive by the year specifically, but yeah. And let's do give some love to Jalen Brunson, first player in the Knicks history to get 60 and five assists in the game. Tied all-time Nick record was 61 with uh, Carmelo, but he did it on – he and Wimby took the same amount of shots. Interesting. Uh, both took 23 shots on far fewer shots and far fewer free throws. It was an offensive explosion like the Knicks have never seen before. And man, oh man, how many people were wrong on that one? I was. And the just think that 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 guy couldn't function in the Maverick system. He couldn't play next to Luca. Interesting. And then they turn around after what was extraordinary and just uh, further away a, a pretty decent game against Golden State. Late three from uh, the, the superstar that is Steph and just kind of sealed the deal. And what was you know. Kind of a, it didn't, I think the emotion of that night on Friday night kind of felt like a a cap to the season. Like that was the celebration to end the 23-24 yeah. season, didn't it? Didn't it feel like Friday it, night was, well, that's it. It's been a good time. Uh, we got a few like, more extras, but this was it. It felt like the, act, like not the literal last day of school, but like the last one where you're like right. all together because some people have weird things. Like a, it was like the day everyone was signing yearbooks. And right, right. Like every, Tomorrow's every, senior every, skip day. And there's only going to be a exactly, few here. Exactly. Yeah. Like every, everyone's writing hags, you know, like mm-hmm. all over the place, stuff like that. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, and there. So um, it was it now, was incredible. Now, what happened to Jeremy? Because there's talk that this might have been it for Jeremy, the injury. So Jeremy saw and is hurt. Now, I, I honestly, I've looked as far as I can. I haven't seen much. But if there, um, it could be an injury. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about the Spurs at 7 o'clock. We do it at Silver and Black, and we're going to make sure you're fully aware of all things appropriate as the Spurs wind down the season with a, a nice weekend. Stack three, lose one. Uh, but here we go. Uh, the Cowboys, though, sit uh, about to, uh, well, it's Groundhog Day, maybe. Uh, we're coming back talking Cowboys and a brand new running back that we might have seen around a building before. Look around the rest of the league as the NFL continues. The NBA so does that. And the final four sheet is set. How are your brackets? All that coming. Hang with us. You're on 94.1. And this is San Antonio Sports Star. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions, COPD or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20 valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. 
Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. At BetUS.com, why do we care about a college basketball tournament every March? Where bets mean everything? Because it's March Mania, where glory triumphs and anything can happen. Where underdogs can make or break our hearts. Because it's March Mania, where brackets are broken and buzzers are beaten. And there's always been a sports book there for you and your best buds. Because it's March Mania. BetUS has been with you through 30 marches together. And like any good six man, we've always had your back. And because it's March, BetUS.com is matching the mania with a mad offer. Back to back to back. 125% sign up bonus on your first three deposits. And the extra confidence that comes from a 10% gambler's insurance. Because anything can happen during March mania. Bet U.S. Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Get started today. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs, from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids, or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low-carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Are you ready to party with a purpose? Haste to the North Side is Thursday, April 18th at the beautiful Security Service Event Center. This elevated Fiesta event for foodies includes on site cover parking, entertainment, unlimited tastings from over 30 premier restaurants, countless curated wines and craft beers, hosted by Brighton Center, presented by HEB. Purchase tickets at tasteofthenorthside.org. Proceeds benefit Brighton Center, the largest nonprofit in San Antonio serving children with disabilities through pediatric therapy and education initiatives. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge motor oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on the driver who treats the highway like a racetrack and the shoulder like a passing lane. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates North Park, Illinois. Viva Fitness! Fiesta Fit Fest presented by HEB is coming to San Antonio April 12th through the 14th, 2024. Get geared up to party and celebrate all things fitness. Headlined by Latap, Texas, the Tour de France cycling event. Burn it to earn it. Fiesta Fit Fest features the SATX 5K 10K runs presented by Michelob Ultra. Register today at FiestaFitFest.com. Sponsored by HEB, Thomas J. Henry, Michelob Ultra, University Health, and Expel. If you miss the Blitz with Jason and Joe, then you miss this. Kareem Williams from Football Talk. At what point is it fair to judge the steps that the Cowboys have taken because this does feel a lot like last year, although this year feels so much more dramatic. You know, this feels a little worse than last year, I guess, because to me it felt like there were fewer holes last year. I mean, you knew Tyron Smith's going to be your last tackle and most important positions on a team. You knew Tony Pollard could be a franchise. 
Hey, huddle up. It's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. Yeah, that was the blitz, Shereen Williams, last week. It does feel a little worse than last year. Look over there. That's RJ Ochoa. As we get him up on camera. There he is. There he is. There he is. Um, I'm Rob Thompson. Welcome to uh, the morning huddle, the party that is. Uh, you heard Jason and Joe, which, by the way, they're back from Vegas. A little hungover, I'm sure. Um, we made it. But no, I, I assume it's been radio silence uh, yesterday. <laughs> so I imagine it was a long hungover flight home for the uh, Blitz crew as they spent the weekend at the Circa. The first of what we hope to be uh, several sojourns to the Circa, uh, which, of course, we expect to be included in those as we <laughs> carry on. Uh so here we sit, and I brought it up last week, RJ, and I know you hate it. I know you don't like it. And I know the way Cowboy fans are looking, but looks like Zeke's coming home. This is dumb. This is really dumb. This is this is a this is a reach. I don't want this. I don't I don't, I don't want this at any price. At any price, it, it's a reach. At any so, price, like any dime spent on what we can all agree is still an NFL caliber running back is too much. And that's just because he played here before. So it's worth mentioning that over the weekend, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported that Dallas and Zeke had mutual interest in one another. Carlos is April Fool's, I hope. Carlos, I'm with you. <laughs> no, um, sadly not. So then Michael Gelkin, our boy, he noted on twitter he said anyone the way he said it was so interesting anyone contemplating the cowboys direction at running back would be wise to monitor ezekiel elliott and dalvin cook in conjunction with a rookie pick i don't know if this is zeke and dalvin in conjunction or either or but nevertheless it's either or well we've been talking about dalvin cook as well so i'm kind of rooting for this so that we can be justified but i'm obviously biased there i wrote something uh last night hasn't come out yet at blog on the boys but i'll tell you the title Cowboys free agent rumors, Ezekiel Elliott and Dalvin Cook both coming off of career low seasons. That's so, buy low, man. Buy low. Dalvin Cook last year with the Jets, 67 carries, 214 yards, 3.2 yards per carry, zero rushing touchdowns. We know how bad that offensive line was. I mean, he, he had one. So he joined the, I don't know if you recall, he joined the Ravens for their playoff run and he had one good run in the win. Against he had a Texas. good like, game. His last game no, was a good he, game. He had, he had literally one good run. That's what he had. Uh, it was like a 17 yard carry and he finished with 20 yards on the day, something like that. So, I mean, it was really, you know, but anyway, Zeke last year, 184 carries for 642 yards. 3.5 yards per carry, three That's rushing respect. touchdowns. That three and a half yards now, a carry? Th this was a career low for him, obviously. And I'll have you know that it beat out his previous career low, which was two years ago with the Dallas Cowboys. This is so sad. And but name another running back. Now you can we, I'm not gonna put the running back. See, literally but if his other name was Isaiah Belliot. <laughs> and Belliot showed up wearing 23 and go, you know what? It's a bargain. We can get in for league minimum. This guy's got I, three and a half yards of carry. We know the offensive line he's been behind. He ain't going to be the starter. We're going to draft a running back. I don't want this archetype at all. So you, I, it's I just the style of back you don't want. It's not it's the, the guy it's, you want. No, 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 no. It's the archetype, not the style. I don't want the... I mean, I know we kind of had some fun with the Dalvin Cook stuff at the beginning, but we were in the, um, you know, we were in the mirage of free agency. Like, please give us something, anything. <laughs> we will take literally right. any. It, yeah. Um, I don't want the older cast off dude who's hanging around, whatever, whoever that dude is, whether it's Zeke, whether it's Dalvin Cook, all that person accomplishes on the roster is taking snaps from somebody who they would be more valuable. They, they're more valuable in the hands of Rico Daddle. They're more valuable in the hands of Hunter Lipke. They're more valuable in the hands of Deuce Vaughn. Well, who's They're to more say valuable... that won't be the case? Uh, math? I mean, you, you you know what I mean? Like, you don't have enough time. I mean, the, the offense should be structured around the passing game, mm -hmm. to be clear. And it but, will be. So the, the teeny amount of, you know, the, the volume that is associated with the run game, there's a snap for Zeke is a snap 
in in the direction of inefficiency and that that goes for dalvin cook or again anyone who fits this, now, this mold. How, how much does and this is on the periphery but if you're laying the pieces together to try to convince Dak to take less money or do whatever you can to make things as comfortable for Dak as, as the negotiations go on because as you've been the first to say and we've talked about forever Dak has all the leverage here he can screw the cowboys to the wall if he chooses to um wouldn't it be maybe bringing Zach, Zeke in to just make Dak a little bit happier? I mean, though they are bros, dude. That is so sad. I mean, well, I mean, it's, so for, if you're if it is what you think it is, and I agree that he's going to be a third option anyway. He's a he's a bench guy, a locker room why, guy, but you know, it's going to be whoever. Why do you want to bring in this big distraction? I, what I'm saying is what I'm trying to, be to your get. No, because back. what what I'm looking at is we know the Cowboys need a running back. So if you went out and you go, okay, I'm going to go by whatever scouting report you choose. And you go, this is how much I'm going to spend. And this is all I got. Well, the list of running backs that are left, Zeke tops the list as far as production and everything else. So if you took away his name and I went, RJ, we're just going to go spend the league minimum on what was the best available by a lot of the services and scouting reports running back left. You don't need to know his name. He averaged three and a half yards to carry. got 600 yards, well, yada, yada, yada. This is the best one left. You go, all right, I'll take it. But because no. of Zeke, you go, well, we've paid him and we cut him and it's stupid. And yeah. if he carries the ball, it takes away from other guys. And all of that's right. But if it was J.K. Dobbins who showed up and never played it down, we go, well, they had to pay him. and They got a league minimum. Not a bad deal. And if needed, the guy does have enough NFL chops to maybe fill a gap. But I, I think that so many Cowboy fans are so upset with anything the Cowboys do that if you just take away that it's the Cowboys and the name involved, you go, well, you know, it's not stupid. It's just that this was the best available, and they got the best deal for it. The process of how we got here was well, there's why flawed. you get mad. Now no, I will quit. No, I will not, argue with you even, every day for that. how it's, we it's got not, here. It's not just that. Again, this archetype of running back doesn't make sense right now. Not where you're at. You don't need this person to come in and take snaps and take carries from where they will be more efficiently handed out. And that's to Deuce Vaughn, Rico Daddle, Hunter Lipke, and whatever rookie you're going to ultimately draft. I mean, you, this is this is a, a waste at this moment in time. It's not a productive. He's not a productive player anymore. The the data is overwhelming. Well, Rob, none that of them are. Productive none of anymore. them are. There's not one so, so super productive back one? left. Like, why, but you why gotta do you want get one, to say, one to say you got a deal? Like, you know, no, that's but, so silly. Are you telling me the Cowboys shouldn't get one? Don't even worry about getting a running back. Yes, I'm telling you that. I would rather have no other free agent. Oh, okay. and just draft a rookie. That is again. I'm not. I don't feel great about that plan but we're <laughs> we are where we are and and that's that's what they're counting on they're counting on you and everyone wearing down and just going hey well i mean you know on on april 1st you know this is the like we got the best guy on the market you know what i'm saying like and, and that's well, they why did. they waited this they're long not, they, it's not puffery for them to say that look we waited but and it's at so the end stupid. of the day we got the best available running back for the lowest amount of money and it happens to be a guy that we know I want nothing to do with Zeke on this team. Nothing. He's it's a it's a he's a mascot at this moment. He's he's a you know he's a he's good a, vibes. You know he's. You know what it all, is. You're right. He's a mascot, but better. I keep saying it. And this plot, we need to come follow through with this. It's the Expendables. They're getting the band back together again for one last run. It, I've never seen that movie, and so I can't completely relate. But it do, it does feel very. He's the Chuck Norris. They added Chuck it, late. Well, I was gonna say it does feel very like. Well, in Fast and the Furious Twelve, they're going to outer space. This is you know how what it I mean? feels, it's, man. It's, it's, an, it's it's the sequel. They're never as good, but their there's explosions are always bigger. So you know this could be one hell of a ride if we're following the movie sequel run. Michael Bay is directing Zeke Elliott oh. to the Cowboys and all these explosions left and right. I suppose maybe this is Bad Boys 4. That's and what I'm, I, saying. I'm a fan of that. When the but, sequels, there's always more explosions and less plot. So wait till we see what goes off this year. This is, it's so sad. The, the most sad thing here is how predictable this was. I mean, from the moment they cut him last year and he wasn't getting a job immediately, it was a matter of man. Because they, they they teased it, they said, "Look, you know, if he's available, blah, blah. again, he's still on the books from the horrible contract that you gave him, and you're thinking about bringing him back. the 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 lack of logic 
in all of this is truly astounding. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is so impressively dumb See, that, Pete? I mean, I'm, I'm just really amazed See, that we I, get to watch it. See, my, what you have is this inability to get past what happened yesterday. I've got a shooter's mentality. Next shot's going to ha- Whatever happened before, I'm, t- I'm counting this step as the first step. And if you're telling me that everything happened before, I cannot fix as the Stoics look at, like, don't even worry about it. You can't fix it. You can't change it. It's, it is what it is. I can say you today, can't, if you I can't woke carpe up today, DM your way into you're right. success, though. you're right. But you, at, at some point, you have to have reached bottom and make a step forward. And I look at this as, OK, so they played the running back market out. They're gonna. They're telling me by their actions, and I have to assume a running back's gonna be drafted. If it's not, we'll have we'll have a conversation. But what you're not but, but properly if you're gonna criticizing get, if, them for is is I this disagree plan. with your archetype idea. I know what the Cowboys lacked last year, and I know what he's capable of. So I don't think that it's such a not bad idea with the archetype in the grand scheme. Yeah, maybe. But I needed a dude that could go get three yards, whether he got a block or not. That's what I need, and I still feel like That's Zeke's so... got about twenty five of those carries left in him. So I, I don't feel like a, a league minimum buy, whether I knew him, whether I overpaid him, whether he should have left, I can't worry about that. My next step is what's the best back out there? Well, for me, it appears to be Zeke or Beak or whatever the guy's name is. I'm going to bring him in. It was Isaiah Belliot. Uh, uh, yeah, Isaiah <laughs> Belliot. So I'm taking that guy. He looks a lot like Zeke, but you know, and if I looked at it that way, I go, you know, it ain't such a bad plan. Another it's plan just... is to go to break before my, uh, my producer uh, throws something through the class. Right, we're going to talk a lot about the Cowboys. And in a couple minutes, we're going to get into uh, the women's basketball tournament. What went down in Portland over the weekend was an absolute disgrace. But first, uh, coming back, Spurs fall. We'll get there. But uh, your final four is there. Let's talk about your brackets, how they sit. And do you have a fire emoji like RJ does? And I do. I hope you do. Let's talk the brackets. We got where we got and how we got here. We'll be right back here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, we are back from Las Vegas, back in studio, and, well, we got a Final Four to talk about. Yeah, Final Four is set. We'll react to that, plus stories from Vegas that are shareable. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hey, we're David and Greg Figueroa, founders of Melinda's Hot Sauce. Sometimes brand testimonials feel, well, unbelievable. So we have a fresh take tasty monials. Comments from real people on the internet who love Melinda's balance of hot meat and fresh, flavorful ingredients. At 2021 Do Work says, legendary. <laughs> Nobody does it better. What was that? Sounds for fire emoji, touchdown emoji, and 100% emoji. Okay. At Snack Food Mafia says, I love how they are a thicker hot sauce and not some watery junk. Love it. At Mo Shroom writes, best hot sauce west of the Mississippi, also the best hot sauce east of the Mississippi. Pro tip, 
That's the whole United States. Finally, at IGP1 always says, smack so f- hard. We love to hear that as much as the FCC. Set your mouth on flavor with Melinda's Hot Sauces. Find them at your local retailer or online at melindas.com. That's M-E-L-I-N-D-A-S dot com. Sadly, statistics show that one out of every three women in the U.S. will encounter physical abuse from an intimate partner and violence against children persist. Christie's Hope strives to overcome domestic violence by providing critical financial support to shelters that offer housing, healing, and preventative measures. Thomas J. Henry proudly collaborates with Christie's Hope in the shared mission to end domestic violence and empower victims. Join us in building a legacy of hope. Donate today at christieshope.org. San Antonians love a good party, and the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guarantee details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. This is Andrew Monaco and the Aggies right here. 94-1, San Antonio Sports Talk. Yes, they do. Thank you, Andrew Monaco, the voice of them fighting Texas Aggies. That's RJ Ochoa on the drum set. I'm Rob Thompson, lead guitar, driving this show, the producer, uh, lead singer. Uh, I guess uh, RJ is the lead singer. And uh, the drummer is Edwin Hafter, to put it in. I don't know where I am. Uh... I thought I was going to have to sing to you guys. I really did. I thought that as we were coming into the uh, the Elite Eight on Friday, uh, I'd be singing. No, didn't work out. The uh, Final Four is set. And what was a season or at least a tournament of, un- of uh, favorites, higher seeds, momentum teams, not anymore, man. Two of the most prominent are there, but the other two are complete surprises to most. Uh, Alabama got there. That's a tough team, but they're the one no one's talking about. Um, it's all North Carolina State, and it's all Burns the third. Uh, the, the matchup that's coming. 
between North Carolina State and Purdue is going to be one that we're going to talk about a lot before and after. It's got to be a great Final Four. You got Cinderella. You got the odds-on favorite. You got the the you got your sister Jean. It, it's going to be a good one in Phoenix. Yeah. Um, look, the DJ Burns thing rules. There's no question about it, right? Like we are all enjoying the ride. He's going to make a lot of money. I just saw a tweet a moment ago. He has tripled his Instagram followers. <laughs> He's going ACC to make tournament over the next week. I, I will say, and we'll never know, but I would assume over the next week he's going to make twenty million dollars. I think that's a little heavy. Um, oh, the sum total. I think, I think he'll the, the contract. Need, need to calm down just a bit, but it, his life will his life will change significantly mm-hmm. over the um, the course of you know. The next uh, next few days, and so the Wolfpack story is awesome and great, and it was really fun that they beat Duke of all teams, right? Like it was, I don't know how, I don't know if there's a rivalry with the Tar Heels and the Wolfpack. Like, I don't oh, know there is. They, it was a driveway battle. These guys know but, each other. They're in the well, bars together. That, like, oh, oh, this was. I don't know that they really care. Like, again, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I think they were certainly the lesser of two evils for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know that they're bothered that, um, you know, that that's who. Isn't the final four or anything like that? Who's I think they? they would prefer no, like Tar the Heel suits. Fans. Oh, ta- oh, like yeah. Tar Heels. Like if they had to choose between Duke and State, <laughs> yeah, I, I, dude, I, they're not choosing either. It's like asking no, the Aggie, again, who I, do you like more? I, oh, you or Texas? Hey, they can both jump off a cliff. I don't care. Uh, right, but I still think this is the the more preferable option. But anyway, um, that being said, we do. You mentioned the sister Jean. The Loyola Chicago thing was really fun, and I remember her press conference in the Alamo Dome. When, when the Final Four was happening what, six years ago. Right. And it was this, obviously, this, everybody remembers, like this massive, massive, massive story. And then they got smoked. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it just, th- this kind of feels like enjoy the ride, NC State. You know, in, enjoy the next week because Purdue is this. And and even the Alabama story, I'm excited. Like, that, nothing offers these stories, like like March Madness hey, in know. the Final Four. But th- we are, there are two freight trains coming. That, I, and I don't know that you can, you know, really objectively deny that. This is going to be a UConn-Purdue final. Feels there is way. very little that can happen to stop that. And uh, the legend that is growing, talk about a guy who's made some money, Zach Eady, just dominating. Oh, uh, I think he's gone from a lower, you know, draft well, And you have a big crush on him. Round. I do. I think the potential him defensively, he is just, not since Yao Ming. And, and you know, he's got a better offensive game than Yao did. But he reminds me so much of Yao, so much of his game. But he's a little bit more fluid, a little bit more offensive, and he got a little bit more distance. So, and Yao was a force. I mean, it's you don't think that a guy that's that immobile can do so much, but they don't have to move that much. You know, he is a, he is a force to be reckoned with. We're going to continue talking Final Four and, and the personalities that go into it and the culmination of things. The Purdue story with Matt Painter is phenomenal. And then Zach Eady's feeling himself, man. Did you, see, did you hear him call out Barnes post game? We'll talk about that. But coming up, what happened in Portland over the weekend oh. with a ladies tournament? I want to talk about real quick. Uh, a, a, a damn disgrace in what was about, you know, shining moment and what will be a phenomenal night of basketball. I bet they get the three point line right, right tonight. Uh, but we'll talk about what happened in Portland on Friday coming up next. You're on 94 one, and this is San Antonio sports star. You know, uh, when you've been on a program and I hate to even say that for as long as I have weigh-ins are not part of my lifestyle. I'm talking about the Institute for functional health and how folks get, you know, healthier how they lose weight and so many people i know have been on these diets where you know you get a couple of days to cheat and then you wake up on monday you get on the scale you go well there's three pounds i gotta fight off plus my plan uh don't live like that go to the institute for functional health and meet a doctor and dr jacob torres that understands how you really lose weight and how you sustain that over time he bases what he does in science and he adds in the motivation that so many of us need to get the weight off our bodies uh he understands that so many of us are dealing with stuff that are beyond our control there's syndromes out there and things that you have to kind of medically deal with before weight loss could even begin. This is a full service medical facility. They can take care of your soup to nuts, as you know what I mean. They'll take care of everything you need. So if it's time for you to lose weight, whether you've been told by a doctor or you've just resolved, this is it. I want a beach body. I want you to head over to the Institute for Functional Health and find out how you can lose weight and sustain it. I've been on this program. Well, I lived this life now for six years. I'm down nearly 75 pounds. I'm not on a plan. This is how I live. And that's how you want to be, right? 
call Dr. Torres. He can explain to you how quickly you can start to lose weight and start feeling good again. The number's 210-468-1891. The website is ifhealth.com. Do yourself a favor. Do your due diligence. Head over there. Take the functional health test. I promise you'll open your eyes. Give Dr. Torres a call today. You're going to find out losing weight ain't hard. You just got to decide and go the right way. And once you do it, I'm sure you're going to be thanking me later. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. San Antonio, get ready for Car Fest, April 5th through the 7th at the Freeman Expo Hall. Enjoy a car show, driver workshops, entertainment, plus the chance to win a free car. And the best part, admission is free. Learn more at carfestsa.org. Train heating and cooling systems are tested, retested, engineered, and re-engineered to keep up with you. We run together. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer. Traininfo.com. It's hard to stop a train. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, your joint pain keeping you from doing what you love, then you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your own body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. QC Connects is under the leadership of National Medical Director, Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup. Dr. Scheinkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call now to learn more about some exciting options in this revolutionary approach to get you long-term relief with no downtime. So what are you waiting for? Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. Locations in Hollywood Park, Westover Hills, and New Braunfels. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Jake from State Farm. I'm winning. I finally cleaned my house, so I'm breaking out my new tropical room spray. <laughs> Keep winning and create an affordable price just for you by bundling your home and auto with the State Farm Personal Price Plan. It's like your own personal paradise. Ooh, hey, grab me a coconut water. Bundling, just another way to save with the Personal Price Plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices are based on rating plans that vary by state. Coverage options are selected by the customer. Availability, amount of discounts and savings, and eligibility vary by state. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack, and of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. George gets justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George gets justice george salinas injury lawyers is not just a law firm they're your support system get george at george salinas injury lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com george gets justice getgeorge.com
Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC, subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Attention landowners, got big plans for your land? Tackle all your spring projects with a powerful John Deere machine. And now with 0% APR for 72 months on select compact tractors, riding lawnmowers, and gator utility vehicles, plus up to $2,000 off select compact tractors. It's never been easier to get in the seat. Offer available April 1st through 30th. Visit JohnDeere.com to find your local dealer. For complete finance details, please call toll-free 1-800-226-8903. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. Hey, it's the Morning Huddle. That's RJ. Take one good look at him. Happy Easter to all. Hope everybody had the uh, gatherings appropriate to your season. All those Brack types enjoyed a cool, breezy weekend. It was uh we we ate outside last night, but it wasn't a uh, a warm evening by any stretch or a warm afternoon. It was nice. Spent some time over the grill. Went Brazilian. The bra- grill. No, no, that was. I, I'm sorry. That that's what I um, I had gone to the spa. But uh, as far as cooking, I uh, wow. Hey, sounds like you had a weekend. Uh, well, yeah, a little, a little chafy. The <laughs> I, I said Friday, my weekend is run together yesterday. North Carolina State and Texas getting ready to play a basketball game. <sighs> Roll out on the court, start warming up, and realize one half of the court's about half about six inches too short of the three-point line. Um the women's three-point distance is, is what, like 22 and um 22 and one and three quarter inches. This is this is one of those things that you know, let's call him John, the the guy who's in charge of setting this up, you know what I mean? Someone came up, "Hey John, um, you know, Vic and Wes, they think that this line short John was like, come, "What? Come, relax." You know what I mean? I know y'all have a, a game you're nervous about, but you know, you don't need to start telling me how to do my job. I'm not telling you how to, you know, set up pick and rolls or anything like that. John had quite the day. I got to be honest. I got to I got to go through some zen. Okay. Some deep breathing exercises, some airing of grievances kind of a thing when I see this. And Goldfinger, I, he came across on our uh, on the uh, brigade bar. They should have just rescheduled the game. That would have been the, just the beginning of what had happened if I'd have been a coach. I I'm just astounded that that happened. That just flabber, a flabbergasted, astounded. There only in women's college basketball could this happen. Can you imagine if we rolled out this weekend and we had the uh, name, the game you were looking forward to the most, and they went out on the court and one side was lops. They had the three point line wrong in an NCAA men's college basketball game. Can well, you remember imagine the ripple effect from, and I hate to always have to bring it up, but gambling everything that it's, Nah. Remember a few years ago now when the Pro Football Hall of Fame, remember when the turf was like melted or whatever right. it was, and they were just it, like, it we're just not going to play. We're not we're gonna not play gonna, the it's game. a safety it's, issue here. Well, yeah, and I, I recognize the safety component was well, but a little yes, bit different. Yes, but they drew the line. We're not going to do it We're for the safety, Dude, and we're just not going to. It'd be one thing if this was like a random game in the middle of February, but to say, oh, for our Elite Eight matchup, you know what I mean? It's I can't. I I actually am really disappointed in in both schools that they play. I would, yeah. This, and so what I like about stuff like this, and to be clear, I'm not a fan of what happened here, but I like when when the internet, you know, just says, "Okay, we're a detective agency." All of us. How together. did this happen? Uh, well, not how did this happen, but they immediately began because this this was the final game of the weekend, it, it, uh, you know, on the court, and I loved that people immediately began dissecting how other teams did right on the floor so stanford went two of 13 from this side of the court when they played 
North State shot one of seven in the first half of that game, which was, again, from that side. Gonzaga shot 18% from three. So, I mean, how can you not feel like it had something to do with things? If it you're, had everything to do with it. Already. Yeah. Everything. Absolute Travis mockery. Yeah, I Go said off, it. King. Drag them. Drag them. It was awful. Uh, what wasn't awful was the Spurs weekend, though. It ended with a thud. It began with a bang, not a whimper. Uh, we saw Wimby do something spectacular. He wasn't even the best guy on the court. Spurs get a W and a fantastic win. We're talking silver and black and a moderately successful weekend, right? Hey, we'll be right back here. It's 94-1. This is the Morning Huddle with Robin RJ. Okay, get hurt, ride the jump. Morning 6 to 10, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. We're in the studio right now with Jose Rios from the Gomez Law Firm. Jose, tell us a little about Gomez Law. Number one priority is to let the people know that we are a law firm that's been part of this community for almost 50 years. You know, Mr. Gomez, he's been a practicing attorney here since 1973. He's born and raised here in San Antonio, done nothing but help out personal injury victims for almost half a century. It's very important that we get that out to the San Antonio community because a lot of these attorneys like to come in here and act like they're from here, but you know, they're all out of towners. They don't know, they don't know what goes on here. They really don't know. If you have been injured in an accident, injured at work or hit by a company vehicle, don't take on the big insurance companies by yourself call the gomez law firm at 736 4040 we've been around for almost 50 years and we're not going anywhere and remember gomez law fights if you have been injured in an accident injured at work or hit by a company vehicle the first place you need to go is joegomezlaw.com public health is more than just health care while a doctor treats individuals, public health looks at the health of a community. At Metro Health, we research the risk of illness and take action to stop the spread of infectious diseases. We introduce prevention and early detection activities that help individuals enjoy healthier lives. We protect against environmental health hazards. Metro Health collaborates with community partners to improve health outcomes because we are all public health. Celebrate National Public Health Week with us. Learn more at sa.gov forward slash help. Mow the distances back at your local Gravely dealer. Now through April 8th, you can save up to 25% with special financing available on America's most rugged mowers, including the ZTHD, the residential mower built to commercial standards. Visit your local Gravely dealer today. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Mealtime will be a breeze this spring when you shop at Family Dollar. Whether you're shopping for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you'll be sure to find great deals on every meal for the whole family. Only at Family Dollar, helping you do more. When your business needs an electrician, for over 35 years, the family-owned Hill Electric has served San Antonio. Powered by relationships with dedicated estimators who analyze the issue, research cost-effective solutions, and clearly communicate the options without charging you a dime. A proven process that allows you to continue focusing on your unique purpose. Call Hill Electric at 210-404-9074. That's 404-9074. Or hill-electric.com.
Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. 94.1 FM San Antonio's Sports Center The San Antonio Spurs went down last night to the New York Knicks though it had been a success I mean to the Golden State Warriors 117-113 the weekend began with a victory over the Knicks successful weekend for Wimby as he broke a couple of records the NCAA Final Four is set you've got Purdue UConn on a collision course Though Alabama and North Carolina State have something to say about it. Rembignano three. Good! Goes behind the back here. Oh! Little sidestep and a jam by Rembignano. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. With Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, R.J. Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and R.J. Hey, gather around. we got a bunch to talk about. It's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. That's R.J. Ochoa, managing editor of Blogging the Boys. I'm Rob Thompson. On the other side of the glass, that's Easy e Edwin Hafter. I've got Valero, Texas open tickets uh, for this Saturday, moving day. Uh, you want to go stay tuned. We'll be uh, giving those away in just about 20 minutes or so uh, right after the segment is done. This hour, uh, we're talking silver and black as, uh, in my mind, a heck of a weekend for the Spurs and, and uh, the NBA. But we're looking specifically at that. We'll follow that. Looking at our brackets, how they doing and the um, clash of the Titans tonight. It could be a, one of those history making events. We might be wondering where do you remember where you were? When you watched LSU and Iowa go at it on a Monday night, and we assume that the three-point lines will be correctly measured. But first, uh, the Spurs go down yesterday, Golden State, um, and what appeared to be kind of a an emotionless rebound game from a Friday night where everything went spectacular. So let's focus on the positive, shall we? Uh, Wimby did something extraordinary on, on Friday night, uh, the likes of which... Uh, Never before or rarely seen, and that was topped by another dude. (laughs) As Jalen Brunson went and got 61, uh, Wimby went 40 and 20 with seven assists. And what was one of those games, you know, Ryan, our our saving private Ryan, our our digital hero, um, was at the game. And uh, right about, I guess it was about third quarter, there's a text like, dude, I'm at the game. This place is nuts. (laughs) So, yeah, you know, having... I watched it on tape delay at about midnight. So I didn't get the same excitement. I'd you know watched a lot of basketball prior. And it was nuts. It was extraordinary. And Wimby is reaching levels at which even in Pops and RCs and everybody's wildest dreams, I don't think we thought we'd see this this soon. We're talking about one of the 10 best players in the nba now yes right no I mean, question i think it's top five i well, think he's I all he nba not 15 and i know people are kind of nervous and slow to throw this or that out or whatever but there is just no question and 
Friday night felt like the first. Sometimes in sports, a game is not a game because a game by definition is a contest. Sometimes in sports, a game is a decision, right? And, and so it felt like on Friday night, Wimby made a decision, right? Like this is going to go one way ultimately, and that is Victor's way. Now I know it got a little sloppy and a little touch and go uh, collapse, ultimately, but yeah. But when when he is in his bag, I don't know of a more dangerous player. I mean, you could go you know, want a, a certain flavor, I suppose. If you know when Lucas in Super Saiyan mode, you know what I mean. Like you can kind of pick your flavor based on the moment. But holy crap! I mean, it was and to get the third win in a row. You know when when. Everyone, ourselves included, doubted that it was po- not even doubted, proclaimed that it was not possible. It was it was a week. They went a whole week with good vibes, good energy. They knocked off the Suns and the Knicks. I mean, on on either side of that little streak there, and it felt like a great way to end the season. You know, well, like, yeah, n- not in a, a formal sense or a literal sense, but in an informal way. I think this is a great question there on the brigade bar, uh, Adam. Me. Uh, do you think the way the Spurs have been playing lately, the front office changes their approach just a tad in the offseason? They better not. Uh, Adam, you know what? There is something to that. And I, I don't know which way you turn. I, I do know that whatever decision you make has been made a whole lot easier <laughs> by what we're, we're seeing here. Because, you know, there, there's this nagging question about the offense with him and without it. There, and I think that's still going to be something that needs to be fixed. But apart from that and the record, which, you know, I mean, let's anyway, uh, I think this has been unmitigated. This has been an absolute success on a personal level for him, for Wimby. And the way he's doing it, we talk about the most dangerous guy in the NBA yesterday uh, or, or Friday, 14 in the paint, 14 points in the paint, uh, four points on jump shots from the mid range, uh, 12 points on three on uh, three pointers and uh, 10 points on free throws. Uh, he made six jumpers on Friday. It was the most in a game uh, this season. So he's hitting at every level. Um, and he is only, what, what are we at, 67, 68 games into his professional career? 66. 66 games into his professional career. Um, it, it, it is ridiculous what we're seeing and the way that they're going, that he's going about getting it. And then let's talk about the chunk in the ball at the end of the game. Oh, okay. Which, you know, I, I get the general badassery of what he did. So do you want to hear the NBA's statement, though? Yeah, he got he, he, he paid, got a letter so, yesterday, 25 This is from NBA Communications, March 31st, 2024. San Antonio Spurs forward center. That's how they've defined him, by the way, forward center. Um, Victor Wembanyama has been fined $25,000 for throwing the game ball into the spectator stands. It was announced today by Joe Dumars, executive vice president, head of basketball operations. The incident occurred following the conclusion of the Spurs 130 to 126 overtime victory over the New York Knicks on March 29th at Frost Bank Center. Oh, by the way, by the way, to view the incident, click here because we definitely want the traction and the interaction oh, yeah, and we the don't engagement wanna. from it. But what a loser thing to find him for this. What a bunch of get off okay, my lawn. You're losers. right. Y'all you're right. It rocks. is. You are exactly right. I am not anti celebrating. And if anybody earned the right to do that, but the problem with what he did was Brunson just got 61 on the road and he had just set a Knicks re- or tied an all time Knicks record and he did it on the road. Okay. I mean, just be a bro. Let him have the ball. There's going to be times, Wimby, you're going to, ha- you're, there's, it's going to happen. You're going to set some kind of record that matters to you. Do you and think somebody might was... grab the ball and chunk it into the stands? This has already happened once this year. And the NBA came down on that crap. Don't, don't do that. The Giannis thing. Yeah. And the kid that had played us, made us Oscar Chibwe from the uh, oh, in, but, Indianapolis yeah, I mean... Pacers makes a bucket in his first of his NBA career at the same time as Giannis goes out for, what, 40, 50, something ridiculous, and they give him the game ball to stroll off. Like, Do you think that Wimby in the – No, he didn't, and I'm not mad at him right now. I I celebrate the badassery, but today I'm like, bro, from now on. Uh, I think you're talking to both sides of your mouth a little bit here. I think that – I I felt bad, It's and it's (laughs) – do you, it, it, these can be two separate emotions. Do you think, yes or no, 
Wemby understood the context of no, he had no Jalen's idea. night. No. So he had no idea. So I'm there's not no, mad at him. I'm just counseling no him. Ill, like, there's no ill oh. will. There's there's simple, like, you know, Herculean scream of emotion. Oh, no. Right? The Knicks and, were, and, were talking. There was something to it. That was a that was a challenge win. Right. It, this was this was yeah. a gladiator type yeah. moment. No, I get the okay. I get the badassery. Well, I do. Then, who, then there's no nothing. There's but no I get any, the fine, uh, like, too. I think that's a it's polite a, reminder. Like, the, you're professional. The fine is uh, such a loser mentality to find him for this this is well, really stupid but 25k is changing his pocket just just remember bro that you're professional and these are you know this dude did do something pretty special pretty spectacular don't get lost again in the he he didn't seemingly didn't know that in the from moment, now on it, it, that's all i'm saying is remember just so what, now i want on, you to remember to say he's supposed to stop at the moment they finish an overtime victory against a contending team in the east and go wait a minute did anybody here have a career game if not okay i have the green light great now i'm going to check the ball into the crowd that's what a professional would do yes <laughs> this is the most get off my lawn this thing is ever. this is a sound of this is him actually talking about it oh um, surprise let's say when I, when I threw the ball i thought maybe yeah like i, re I remember players being fine for this but it was it was always in it like a bad, they threw it always in a bad way you know i threw it not you know to to make uh, some, good some some guys day but uh it's um no it was it's funny it's just funny but after that i was like i was like no that's fine like i, I threw it to you know to please somebody it's not yeah. like i'm it's trying to hurry throwing it at somebody yeah I'm not, they, yeah they don't care about intent i guess on that apparently <laughs> see th that wasn't the tone of the question it wasn't about throwing into the stands it was the fact that maybe a dude had earned that ball to take home dude Keep. nobody is concerned about this no, I, I, like jalen Brun jalen brunson won a national title you know five miles away i mean you know what i mean he, he's he, completely fine dude i had <laughs> 61 an nba game i kind of like to have the ball again the like idea that Wimby's supposed to be aware of all this in the I, moment. I, after I appreciate he goes off the himself. fact that he wasn't. I'm not mad at him now, but from now on, kind of be aware of the moment. You knew that dude was going off. You watched. What him. are you talking about? Be aware of the moment. He he encapsulated the moment. It, it, the moment required uh, exertion. The moment required you know euphoria. The moment required release, and that's what he did. It was uh, it was mo like we will remember that flex, forever. The flex, the Timmy flex. Yeah, hell yeah, he's gonna. Flex. I get you. I'm with you. That was awesome. Just remember. You're not the only guy there. That's I, I'm just counseling the dude. Just don't do that. I feel bad for Brunson now. That, that I mean, yeah, you made the record book, but there's nothing in the hall. There's I'm nothing happy to that go. You feel down. bad for him and have great empathy for your I fellow do. man. But, I do. I yeah, mean, we we beat you, and I'll tell you to the. I believe that it was a rope a dope kind of a game. I, we didn't do enough to try to shut that. Although we were bumbling our way to the finish there, um, to I really have, shut him down. Uh, I have a quote I would like to read you, Rob. If you're I'm ready. Right with this. I'm ready. So this isn't about Friday night, although it was it was fantastic. This is about last night. The Spurs lost. They fell, to be very clear, um, against the Warriors team that's still struggling. And um, anyway, here we go. This is, uh, well, yeah, this is Steve Kerr. I think Steph was really motivated to play well in front of his kids in Aisha. Um, obviously, it was Easter. He played a great game. There was a lot of pressure on him out there. Trey Jones does a really good job defensively. He talking about Steph. He found a way to get free and hit some big shots. <laughs> Who was it that uh that Steve Kerr said did a great job defensively? You notice he complimented Steph the guy that got the shot taken on him. Who, who was it? <laughs> I just, just want to know who it's who kind was of a it backwards Steve Kerr compliment. Gave Come flowers on, to last night. Oh, that I mean, was I just want to know. Dude, that's not the way you want to be complimented. I just yeah, he's a great who... defender, but that shot that won it was over him. Um, okay. <laughs> So wow! I so think the list, that was some the list flowers of people for Steph. To, to that was Trey Jones flowers includes literally all of us except for you and Steve Kerr. Just so you know, I, like the island you're. You on. know, he's a hell of a defender. I, I I was I was shocked that Steph hit that shot over Trey Jones because Trey, legendary defender. Wow! I think that you, I think you're. I think that was flowers. You for know, his you were, you were in it, it, battle for a while. You were star. like, I don't know why I get painted as this Trey Jones hater. This is why. Just so you're fully well, aware, this is this is why. I, I understand the value of Trey's defense, but to hey, you know, Steph made that huge jump shot over that tenacious defender, Trey Jones. Hey, okay. Well, I'm not mad at Trey. He's gonna Steph's gonna make that shot over anybody. Is what I'm saying. You can you can throw flowers for Trey. Yeah, great. But that's a Hall of Famer. That's a that's a, a Mount Rushmore jump shooter. Um, maybe should have been a step closer. But yeah, hey, no, you're a great defender, though. I think that you need to give Trey Jones some props. <laughs>
and I'm not going to rest until and, it happens. No, the honest truth is uh, you don't go get 40 like Wimby does without Trey Jones doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. He's, he's playing great. But uh, that was a classic NBA backhanded pat on the bat to uh, Steph. Not, hey, that's, you know, that, that Trey Jones. He had Steph locked down. Until that bitter end, until he hit that shot to win it. Locked down. Hater. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a hater. I hater. thought this Friday night was the exclamation point to the season. Uh, to me, it is. And there is some question. Jeremy Sohan's hurt. It uh, it felt like the last real time, mm-hmm. you know, that like m- maybe, you know, when you graduate high school and, you know, some some people are going here to college, some people are going there to college. And so it's all right. One last party, you know, one one last get together. Right. Like because next time Jenkins isn't going to be here and the time after that, Thompson's not going to be here. You know what I mean? Whatever. It's so, like this is the 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 crew getting together one last time. And it was great. And that's why, like last night didn't hurt all too much, even though the third quarter hurt a lot. Um, but well, it was, it was a good ceremonial end of the season. It was like, it was like, an, it was a banquet. You know what I'm saying? Friday night was a banquet to, to end the 2023, 2024 season. Uh, sadly, we still have more games and it doesn't appear. So going to be there. I, we saw the ankle. It, he's got what they're calling an impingement, which doesn't, I don't ever want to be impinged on anything. Uh, and then, you know, it sounds drastic. Uh, could miss the rest of the season, which is about a week. Right, but it does appear that the, the his impinged ankle will preclude him from completing the twenty three to, or twenty four regular season. Uh, more news as it becomes available. We will break it, uh, but it does appear that Sohan, who had uh, uh, left with an ankle injury, could be uh, done for the year with an uh, what has been called an ankle impingement. So Spurs sitting on eighteen wins. Not going to okay. happen. They have seven to go. They need two wins to tie. Okay. Three to not be associated with, with the worst record at all. So Denver on Tuesday. I mean, I I would I might bet them to cover. Um no. Uh at New Orleans on Friday. That's possible. Like that, that's you know, if we have to define impossible and possible, New Orleans is possible. Right. Uh, um, see, the problem we're running into now is playoff seating. These games, these these are playoff games to a lot of teams. That's fair. That's a great point. Um, we don't need. I mean, we're already kind of screwed with no Toronto pick. That's not going to happen. So I, you know, that's why I felt like Friday night, yee we did it. And then Sunday certainly felt like, oh yeah, we got another game. We got a couple more games. I mean, so that's that's a fair way of looking so at it. We, um, so it's hard for me to. Well, I will say this: Wimby's capable of winning four or five on his own if he runs on this. If he keeps at this rate, but I'm about hanging them up, man. I, if I never saw him for the rest of the season, I would be fine. If you didn't see Wimby till October, you're yeah, saying done, you're good. If he done, well, in a Spurs jersey, out. yeah. I so after I Denver, who that. do we got? So at Denver, at New Orleans, we said, yeah, and then only one of the next five are at home. And it is uh, Sunday against Philly. Uh, I know that they're chasing. I know that Embiid is uh, thereabouts. I know they wouldn't bring him back on the road. Philadelphia has been in a free fall. That could happen. That's one. So So there's two. So we might. I think they get. I think they get one of New Orleans and Philly. That's you know they get. There's a Detroit game in there too that we can't. Hang on, we're not. We're not quite there yet. At Memphis, definitely possible. Uh, yeah, I think, but see, now we're getting to the point of why Hold now up. we're starting to count ping pong balls that, you know, these, you get to the point of, I don't care whether we tie it or not. Although I would do anything to be on a team that anything, but be the worst, you know, I, so, I'll kiss my sister and go second, but, uh, wow. Or tie for the a, worst, a really deep introspection at who you are. As a well, you know what they say but, about ties. <laughs> it's nice, um, but so, um, at Memphis again, possible at Oklahoma city. I won't give them that Zion one. has been balling Claymore. Then Denver at home uh, on next Friday, and then next Sunday, Master Sunday, they get the Pistons. And so I'm willing to give them Memphis and Detroit, which is I think if say they lose Denver, New Orleans play, so they lose they not drop the next three in a row, and then they beat the Grizzlies, that would give them 19. So that could set up a scenario where you know game 82 is against the Pistons. 
to either be in there by yourselves or tie it. What I say, that, if it does come no, here's what we drama. do. I put it out there that if it does come down to that last game, us and Detroit, that we and you're saying you're sitting on 19 wins. And we moment. make our G League teams play each other. Let's bring up both full on G League squads and let them decide. That would be yes. my answer to uh, So if we're literally, uh, let's let the backups to the backups to the backups decide whether this is the worst team. It's like letting the uh, walk ons and the team managers play in that last game. Just, you know what? Let, let's see what we got here. <laughs> so oh, if we God. get to down to Detroit and we have 19 wins, I want would, the, Santa, the Austin Spurs to represent this team. It would be the um, the actual NBA game equivalent of when they put the babies on the court. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like just, okay crawl come to mama you know what i mean like it would it would be the the extrapolation of that but i think that's very possible that would be some peak drama bring them all up baby i don't know what the contractual stipulations are required to bring up an entire team do you want 20 wins at least to tie the record that's that's what i do want the tie but i want the the uh, austin spurs to get it i want those guys brought up a little taste of the limelight something that matters but my, my question is, tying it is a victory in your mind. Like, tying it is Oh, it's a enough. tie. Like, it's kissing your sister. No, it's not a no, victory no, no, no. by but, any but, stretch. But at but least I'm, I'm not saying, alone down there at the bottom of that list. That's all I'm saying. You are you just don't want to be in by yourself. Yeah, you're fine yeah, if, yeah. Misery if you're company. with company. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Okay. So, Understanding yeah, your position. That, that just, you know, if we're walking and, and you and I are side by side and I slip and I'm about to fall into a pool, I'm bringing you with me, man. Wow. I'm not going down I mean, alone. I would be uh, Jim Halpert to your. I Michael would be. Scott with, I would be desperate bond. to grab you, man. You wouldn't have time to move. I would. Out of the way. I'm that guy. I am the the second crab in the bucket. Hey, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going down, but I'm taking I, everyone we all, with me. If I'm going <laughs> down, we're, the ship is going down, baby. I'm pulling you wow. with me. Misery so loves company. About, you've talked about your um, what you're willing to do to not tie um, the you know physical levels you're willing to go to go to and how you will take everyone down with you yeah we're just learning a it's a real peak behind the kimono it's, a, it's women and children <laughs> i'm first you're, you're the guy in uh in titanic that just grabbed the little girl was like i have a child and uh, i'm on the let, boat let, baby let, yeah you can get mad at me you can try me on dry land <laughs> what do you think he did with her once once he got to land he's like oh good luck you know we uh fairly we well made we made yeah. it <laughs> Let me know how it works out in life. Yeah. So, Meanwhile, yeah. poor schlubs hanging on to a piece of wood. Nah. Wow. Women and children. Ha! Ah! Hey, coming back, the Cowboys uh, appear to be imminent to make a decision the likes of which many Cowboy fans have seen before, quite frankly, and dread, it seems. The Cowboys ready to bring Zeke back in the fold. What does that mean for the rest of the offseason and to the draft? That and other Cowboys news that continues to percolate coming up. But first, I want to give away some tickets. Uh, I got a pair of tickets to go to the uh, the uh, VTO, as we like to call it around the building. The Valero Texas Open is finally here. And on Saturday, moving day, you can go over and check out Rory. You can yell out, uh, get in a hole! Do we have a 16th? Yeah. We'll find out. Caller number five. No, we have a 16th hole. I know that. But do we have a party hole? Well, 16 is pretty incredible at TPC. It is. So, um, you know, you could be the guy you can yell, get in the hole. You could be the guy that yells at mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed, that's a good one. Yeah. Can you give us your best mashed potatoes? But, like, I'm talking, like, give it a, the real one, two here. Like, the the old, the blitz. Welcome Which way? To, you know, where, where, am I, where am I yelling at? Give me the part of the country. It's I'm off the driveway. At. So, like, somebody just smoked. I mean, like, ultimate No, I need to know, am I, am I, like, at the uh, Shell down there in Houston? And I'm at Wingfoot. Oh, and where? What part of the world am I? Yeah, uh, when I'm screaming. Well, this is this is at TPC. However, oh, this it's is Sunday. Texas. It's so Sunday, Sunday. At, at it's Sunday at two p.m. You're liquidated. Am, am I and in the, the box? sun's been beating on you a little bit. You and know I, what I'm saying? And so, I'm at the tea box. Yeah, you're a little flushed and you're feeling good. Um, and you're prepared to to go hydrate a bit more. So here, wah, mashed potatoes. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Huh? See that? Th- see that was the Texas context. mashed potatoes. Wow. Yeah, well, you could have been like like real Texas and been like tater tots. Well, you know I, what I, mean? like, I, w- I was gonna go tater tot. Yeah, I really thought about it, but that was um, I thought that would be more Phoenix. Well, the the OG one. Hey, caller number five, you want to go to moving day six five six three seven seven six six five six. Espen's the number for you. Coming back, Cowboys imminent to make a move that they've done before. Here comes Zeke. 
You ready for it? We'll talk about it next. This is 94.1, and you're on San Antonio Sports Talk. 94.1 FM. At GiveMeTheVin.com, we pride ourselves in being America's best car buyer, bringing top dollar for your car with an online process that's fast and easy. But you might not know that we've got a special interest in buying your truck. Luxury haulers, workhorse diesels, or just your favorite pickup truck, we specialize in putting the right money on your truck for longer than anybody. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com today and get your check on the spot from America's best car and truck buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it and you're on the Joe Reinagle here. I want to tell you about something that has completely changed my life. I had vision correction surgery at Parkhurst New Vision. The results are amazing. The readers are a thing of the past. Hey, if you're like me and tired of those glasses, call Parkhurst New Vision at 210-585-2020. They offer a variety of services like vision correction surgery. So call Parkhurst New Vision, 210-585-2020, or get them online at sanantoniolasic.com. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Fellow Americans, former CIA officer Jason Hansen here. Market instability and soaring debt have put your retirement at risk. For protection, I recommend diversifying into physical gold from Advantage Gold, a five-star rated gold company I've used for years. Their customer service is unmatched. Call 800-741-GOLD now and say Jason Hansen sent you and get a free 2024 gold investing kit. Again, call 800-741-GOLD. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality, and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty, too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com. And tell them, Dave. Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656 Pure Kinetico. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it. And at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything they were doing is consistent with 
my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. 210-571-0318. San Antonio Sports Star. Wake up with a morning huddle. Congratulations, Bramas. Oofle kicked off this weekend, the UFL, the newest iteration of spring football, and Wade Phillips brought home the victory. And anytime you beat a team from D.C., I'm all about it. They take the defenders down 27 Too bad it was right during uh, basketball or the lack thereof and Easter. But, hey, it was on. I saw some uh, people down there. It looked like a, a good time. Yeah, there you have it. Cowboys might sign Zeke Elliott, <laughs> which seems like uh, just uh, another sentence and an ongoing, just rambling paragraph of failure. Uh, but to many, to me, uh, I'll be honest, RJ, I don't think this is an awful move. It just, I think that you're just upset with the name, not the player, not the position, not the, not the output. I, Edwin just showed me a list of the best running backs into left. Us. And he's on the top of the list. The last word you said there is so important. I mean, look, well, best running backs. Well, obviously left. that was the intent. And if I'm going to view this like, okay, the Cowboys are going to be bottom feeders as they always have been. They seek value, whether you define the value one way or another. Uh, their value seems to be the best running back out there for the lowest price. And I don't think it matters who the name is. I think that judging by the way they've, you know, who's the best left? Okay, who can I get the best deal with? Oh, I happen to know him even better. This is all about the bare minimum, which is exactly what the Cowboys have done this entire offseason. I mean, Eric Kendricks was a buddy of Mike Zimmer's, and they had to beg him to not take the Niners deal to come back to them. He took less money to come here. I mean, this is, there's a, yeah, that's true, but not, are we certain that that's like true in a total sense? Like, we don't know the tax situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this is a franchise that has a, high reputation of nepotism right like jason garrett is is kind of case in point that you could argue certainly zeke elliott now like the cowboys fall in love with dudes and they will give them extraordinary chances this is zeke is not an explosive player i mean a touch for him is a touch against the idea of explosive efforts on offense that that it's a touch in the, it's a literal inefficient touch well, and and I don't he's think they brought him in to be a year. starter, man. He's not here to – it's Dowdle's gig to lose. It's, why bring him in, though, to be this big distraction? As and, opposed to yeah. what? What What good is he – like, if he's – to your point, if he's, like, coming in to just be this pedestrian running back, then why – like, the, the well, they're situation all of it all – I but, mean, that's so what then you why do this now. Like, why, you have why, to have. Why, why make yourself this well, at joke? Well, some point, and have you're going to need to have twice. a backup running back. At you some don't point. Need to, like, again, at, at this point, you, it's a much more prudent effort to just take your draft pick, whoever that winds up being, wherever you spend it, and find an undrafted free agent. That is a more effective no. way of handling the position. No, a goldfinger on the brigade bar uh, brought up, you know, if they do draft a running back, maybe he's a June 1st cut. Tell us about the possibilities of manipulating i mean does it matter i mean does it mean that if they sign him now that he couldn't be gone it seems like what i'm saying is it doesn't this isn't a dumb move this is a standard nfl move that the cowboys are making but because of their history which rightfully needs to be dissected and taken you know for what it's been but this on its face is an nfl move that any team would have made then why hasn't anybody made it what, what do you mean? The, 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 it's well, now well, time if, for the, if it's if it's a sound he NFL move, if he's a sound NFL running, running back, back, if left. he's a legitimate option, why has nobody been interested? Well, he, in I mean, not everybody's chasing a running back, but he is the by the. I'm looking at who uh, scroll up, Edwin. I want to see who provided me this list. Um, Edwin, show me the top of the of the of the bar here. This is from Spo, <laughs> Spotrack. Okay, Spotrack by the numbers uh, lists the best free agent running backs left. 
Zeke's on top. Second, Clyde Hilaire. Boston Scott. You, it's a, you it's are, a veritable who's that. I agree. Rob, you, but now's you the are time. The, you are the animal. Like, this is free cheese in the trap. What no, are y'all talking I'll, about? Like, no, are y'all I know crazy? The Cowboys why, room why aren't any? Why, why is nobody back? taking this free food that is in here? All we got to do is walk in and get it. What a great deal. This is awesome. So if this I'd announced today, and we were sitting talking about Latavius Murray, and they said, the Cowboys just went and signed Latavius Murray. I'm what would you say? All of them. So to it's be very just clear. A, a general principle: don't go get a running back, draft and hope. That is a much more effective okay. way of going at this. Uh, again, we're talking about non-explosive players. We're talking about players who can't legitimately help your offense. You get well, through three and a half camp. yards a carry, RJ. Rob, that's so ineffective and inefficient. Like three and a half is not a lot. I, I don't know why you are, are hoisting this up it's like enough. it's you know. My bar is three enough. yards a carry, and I know there are probably five times last year where we even tried Lipke, but we needed three yards. That's all we needed was three, and we didn't have that. I feel like Hunter Zeke Lepke is a guy that could year, do it. Hunter Lipke last year had six carries for nineteen yards. So not a real sample size that you can make a decision off of. I'm not defending him, to be very clear here. 3.2 yards per carry. But you're over here, you know, fawning over Zeke. I'm not you know, fawning. At, at, who, I understand what he half. is and where the co- Cowboys find Rob, themselves. He had, a, he had 184 carries for 642 yards last yes, year. Yes, but I'm his not longest, bringing him in to lead us in rushing. His run was 17 yards last year. 17 yards was his mm-hmm. longest run. You th- you cannot, like, th- this is not a, a good player. No, this is not it a is not. Player. I am not. I'm, but this is the guy you get at this time in free agency. When you so go, why are go, you defending this? I'm the, not the, defending. The it's is, not a is terrible move. This point. It is just a standard NFL move. But anything that they do right now, Cowboy fan is so bristled. Like, here we go again. But the fact of the matter is, going and picking up a bargain basement used running back that is no longer explosive, every guy on this list is going to be on an NFL team. Paying for about the same amount of money. The Cowboys just got ahead and got a guy that they happen to know. Now, we could argue about whether him or Matt Breida might have been a better choice. I'm with you. But they went and got a back that was NFL serviceable, that at the very least, if they can't draft, this guy on a bad football team with limited use got three and a half yards of carry, and it might be atrocious the, in the some use books, was limited but it's enough. for a reason. <laughs> like, well, no, that again, team was terrible. So we can apply Rob, there, there just were because eight he could, games, eight games in which he averaged below three yards of carry. Yeah, eight, eight of seventeen. That is insane. The only thing that is keeping his average somewhat mildly, not completely, totally horrible is in a game against the Giants where, that they lost, he had nine carries for 46 yards. So his 5.11 yards per carry from that game is inflating everything. But, I mean, this is not an effective player. So the the, the problem, the issue is we have defined objectively that this is not a functional player. This is not a he player is that a can functional help your own. player, and he can't No, he's help. not. Not, he not, a, not, not in the realm that we're talking about. Not Not <laughs> relative to the goals that we have. Okay, so he doesn't fit that mold. So why and on top of that, he brings a natural show because he's Zeke and it's the Cowboys and the return and he's going to be on Absolutely. the books twice and blah blah. So wh- why are you signing up for this show in the midst of what is obviously an incredibly toxic off season for a not for a player who can't contribute to you in, in an effective and efficient way? What like again? If if you are somehow not of the mindset that the Cowboys are completely botching this off season that they are legitimately entertaining and pursuing this really highlights how off the rails this whole thing is. I would have cut. If you had told me today, they signed cam Akers. If they'd have signed Jarek McKinnon, if they had signed Boston Scott in name, yeah, the back, it, those players go, don't you know bring what? the show. That is a functional need. I get it. And Zeke is the best on that list. And I think you'd have been fine with any back chosen. If his name wasn't Zeke Elliott, I, you say, I would, no, no, I absolutely wouldn't be not. fine. But it's, it would be moderately acceptable because you're paying very, very little for what you're saying. That's your point. 
for a player who can kind of maybe hopefully potentially help. good in the locker room will bring a work ethic that I know he brings but, that can but be successful given the right environs and he's not going to get Zeke a lot of chances. Immediately becomes one of the five he's biggest my quarterback's faces. best friend. He, I, I, he becomes one of the five biggest faces on your team. And and so you make this all about that now. Again, well, if you if you're somebody I have defended the Cowboys as not being a, a team focused on their brand or money or whatever for a very, very, very long time. This runs completely counter to that. This this really screams that all they care about is entertainment. Tony Montana says in the Brigade Bar that that spotlight on Zeke in a reunion is going to be huge, and we're going to see just how bad he's gotten. And again, it's going to the the they're they're setting themselves. They're putting the dunce hat on. You know what I mean? Like it's you know they're they're going. They're the team that's going to Dick's restaurant and is like, I can't believe they're being so rude to us. You know what I mean? Like, this is the stupidest thing in the world. It is It is. It is a de-rigger NFL move. That's all it is. I don't think he's going to be anything more than a, a veteran back on an average to bad football team that gets two or three carries a game, if that. And then if it why was are any, you signing because up for I the, need the one and I'm getting him cheap and it is buy so and it, I'm not so kidding. Sign up for well, one that now. you need that isn't going to bring the show. He's that also my quarterback's the best friend. He's a guy Who that cares I'm always, about that. I He's care. A, that's a, the quarterback that you're not willing to offer an extension to. Are you willing to give him his best friend? Yes. I mean, I think that's know, a like, fair deal. Why? why <laughs> I bring this circus and this attention. For to what you are saying is is an insignificant role. It's another ring to a three ring circus. Okay, bring another one. Are we going to notice? Oh wait, Zeke's back. I hadn't even noticed. It's just it doesn't have to be this complicated. But it doesn't it doesn't have but to it's be not this bad. messy. See, what I'm telling you is it's not as bad as you perceive it. It is, Rob. It's so stupid. He's just it's a functional bad. body. That's all it is. No, he's not. When you bring in Zeke Elliott and it's the reunion and all this stuff, and then you let him wear number 15 and you start selling those jerseys too, because that's definitely going to happen. You know, it. Think of the Salvation Army. Think of those guys. I, See, I am it's happy you, for them. RJ, I, that's I anti helping. He could be you know. scooping it up in the bowl. It's And you have a problem with it. It this is, is another ring to a three ring. We circus deserve though. so much better. We don't deserve a lot, but we deserve so much better than this. Uh, there were no circuses at the Frost, although we did see an exhibition of feats and strength that we have not seen before over the weekend. Uh, we're going to talk about them Spurs. It might be the exclamation point on the season. Uh, Jeremy Sohan's a little banged up as well, but let's look forward to tonight. Uh, we have us one of those matchups with so many plot lines. That's right, Iowa. LSU tonight and one of those games for the ages. You assume the three-point line will be correct. Uh, ladies college basketball progresses with the biggest light that's been on it in a long, long time. We're talking about it next. You're on 94.1, the San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, we are back from Las Vegas, back in studio, and, well, we got a Final Four to talk about. Yeah, Final Four is set. We'll react to that, plus stories from Vegas that are shareable. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Paid for by jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hello? This is your fortune. Listen, the Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy your official state lottery tickets right from your phone. I can do that. With the jackpot.com lottery app, you can. Your fortune is calling. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Go to the app store and search for the jackpot.com lottery app. San Antonians love a good party, and the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. 
Public health is more than just health care. While a doctor treats individuals, public health looks at the health of a community. At Metro Health, we research the risk of illness and take action to stop the spread of infectious diseases. We introduce prevention and early detection activities that help individuals enjoy healthier lives. We protect against environmental health hazards. Metro Health collaborates with community partners to improve health outcomes because we are all public health. Celebrate National Public Health Week with us. Learn more at sa.gov forward slash health. Jake from State Farm. I'm winning. I finally cleaned my house, so I'm breaking out my new tropical room spray. <coughs> Keep winning and create an affordable price just for you by bundling your home and auto with the State Farm personal price plan. It's like your own personal paradise. Ooh, hey, grab me a coconut water. Bundling, just another way to save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices are based on rating plans that vary by state. Coverage options are selected by the customer. Availability, amount of discounts and savings, and eligibility vary by state. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack. And of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all quarter moon 14 sear AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter moon plumbing, heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M160044. DACLA 0007434. This is Jason Lennox, and you're listening to the home of the Texas Rangers, 941 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, it's the morning huddle. You're on San Antonio Sports Star. Hope your Easter weekend was all you had hoped. All those Brack folks, you survived. A little bit of sprinkles, you got through it. I'm glad you had your weekend out. I didn't camp out, but we uh, sat out. Didn't hide eggs either for the first time in a long time. We had a, a birthday over the weekend. Now the entire family is over 21. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Huh? Here we sit. Kudos. It is a uh, a Monday, the likes of which when the brackets fell out, we knew was coming uh, in the ladies' basketball. When we, uh, you saw the, uh, the bracket that had a possibility of LSU-Iowa. Right here. We've assumed, and I think a lot of us were upset with the fact that these two are going to meet now, the national, the reigning national champs, and uh, the Caitlin Phenom that is. It's got, there's so many plot lines to this. The rematch, uh, Caitlin headed toward the greatness that she is, uh, LSU, the returning champs. Uh, Reese is a hell of a player. I mean, and you look at this type of game. You've got paint versus shooting. You've got it, it feels a little bit like Tennessee Purdue yesterday with Connect, the all around sharpshooter player of the year versus Zach Eady, who is just a monument in, in the paint. And you look at what LSU does, they they own the paint, they battle, they're rough and tough like their coach versus Caitlin. You wonder how officiating is going to come into play tonight. This is going to be 
This is going to be one of the greatest basketball games we've ever seen. Please, like, there's just please be that good. I, everybody, you know, I think all of us want, just like with any big college basketball matchup, but this one feels different. This one feels like if this can be what all of us hope it can be, and it, and it could set the table for a Final Four that has this South Carolina team that is untalked about juggernaut. Um. Please be this good tonight. The sad thing is, one of them is going to be going home, and I'm not sure who I want to go home. Because I'm not sure if LSU is the only team that can't beat South Carolina, and not that I'm against South Carolina. I just want to see the best possible matchup in a in a Final Four. This feels like, was it two years ago, the, the Duke and North Carolina met in the Final Four? Very much. Very much. This feels much. like that. Like this, this feels like... I don't want to say unstoppable force meets immovable object, but this feels like just big time thing meets big time thing. And I mean, I generally tend to to lean with the superstar, like the supernova. So I, I'm leaning mm-hmm. Caitlin, but this this is this is her this is her Picasso right here. I mean, this is you know the canvas is blank. Go paint. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I think she will. I think this, this is going to be like one of those, one of those games. You know, uh, when it comes to LSU, Kim Mulkey is such a divisive figure. Mm. I think she is the modern equivalent, male or female, of Bobby Knight in a, in a costume. I, I, I don't get her. I don't, I don't particularly like her. I appreciate the success. I mean, she's a, she's a hell of a coach. It's just not someone that I've ever really appreciated she's it, you know she has this ego that the entire world revolves this whole story of uh, about her upset with a writer up northeast but about a hit piece and um anybody read this i read it over the weekend and now i want to give credit what's the piece because uh, i haven't washington read it. I, it's from it's from the washington post kent bad wrote it okay um and it reads like a biography of sorts um on her pers- persona um and it's really well written i i mean i i couldn't understand i mean i'm not kim but why why you would feel like this i I mean i don't know that it would have generated the attention that the the, like story about the story did if not for the story about the story you know what i'm saying like the attention was associated with that and then like all these other ancillary details did you see what nikki collin the baylor coach said no, I again. Th- th- whenever Mulkey's involved, I just kind of step away, so, figuring she's the creator of all this drama, and I just assume that's the case. So after they lost, um, Nikki was at the podium, and she was asked about, or she was talking about this whole situation. Obviously, Kim's past in, in Waco was discussed and a big part of the story, whatever, whatever. And so, and so she said, "This is her exact quote. This is Nikki Collins' quote. I was really offended by the article that came out. I didn't read any of it." And I have no <laughs> issue um, if you have a problem with the article. But, and, and so what she's offended by is the, the implications that are, are, you know, sort of. Somebody told me this is what it said, so I'm upset about it. I'm not upset. I don't yeah, know what and, it said. So, I just so, know that I, as much as my experience with Mulkey is. Um, well, I think that, like, that's why I think if you're, it's fair to say, like, you know, somebody is saying that, that, Somebody said this about our program in the article. I disagree with that idea. Right. I haven't read it, but but that idea, it, I can tell you, is false or whatever. But to say, like, I was really offended by this. I didn't read it. What? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you at least owe now, did, the did truth the, did the, the I, idea I, I, of reading it. I'm reading a quote, and again, we'll go back to the article that I have not read. But she's upset. She said, you know, take me on, but don't ever talk about any of my players. And, you know, I, I, I get it. Um if that's her, I, I want her to defend her players. But I, I just always assume because of her history that if there's anything going on, Mulkey, of course, is going to be highly upset. And, uh, you know, whether it's justified or not. So I just assume it's probably not justified. And it's just Mulkey being Mulkey. But that aside, that just adds to this plot line of tonight. I think she's the perfect coach to be coaching tonight. This is the perfect team to be playing tonight. It's the perfect Andy evening. Caitlin. to to expand this game. Refing's going to matter. Three-point line measurements will as well. Maybe. They, they might not matter. You can just play a game and, they'll, and without them being accurate. It's totally fine. Nobody Only cares. in college basketball. Hey, coming back, the next two hours are chock full of goodness. We're looking at your final four. How are your brackets? 
minor. Eh. We'll be right back here on San Antonio Sports Talk. This is 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, your home for the NBA playoffs. Down the middle of the lane, takes it right to the rim and flushes. KTFM Floorsville. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Bonus offers. And when the madness starts in Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... Back to back to back. 125% sign-up bonuses on your first three deposits. And even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game... Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyer for us.com. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger is a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right. That's real important. The golf game. Right. As we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics Regenerative Medicine is regenerating me, all natural. And that's what I'm about. I'm going to tell everybody why I'm better. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the competitive Satch is back. We're all in the same boat, and I'm getting better, and I'm watching them stay old. Go to QCKinetics.com. Get relief and your game back. Call for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. 210-571-0318. Hard work and dreams lead to success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer. And we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Paid for by Jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know is a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. I'm down here reporting from Main Street Food Trucks with some people all looking quite excited. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me what's happening here? Y'all look uh, extremely happy. The Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. And with the Jackpot.com lottery app, you can now buy official lottery tickets right on your phone. Lottery tickets right on your phone. Wait. 
You can really do that? Yes, and it's super easy. You just download the app, choose your lottery game, pick your lucky numbers, and get your winnings instantly. Well, there you have it, folks. You can now buy official lottery tickets anywhere, anytime, right on your phone. Just download the jackpot.com lottery app. Back to the studio. The Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, right now, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Never miss another jackpot. Go to the App Store right now and search for the jackpot.com lottery app. The jackpot.com lottery app. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. The San Antonio Spurs three-game win streak came to a close yesterday as they fell to the Golden State Warriors 117-113. After his 40-20 Friday night victory, Victor Wimbanyama followed it up with 32-9 and three blocks in the loss. They return to action tomorrow as they head to Denver to take on the defending world champion. The final four set in the NCAA as Purdue beat Tennessee. Zach Eady dominated. How good do you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our course. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now. Here are the guys. Hey, gather around. This bunch to get into. It is the morning huddle. He's RJ Ochoa, the managing editor of Blogging the Boys. I'm Rob Thompson on the other side of the double pane. That's easy E. We call this the morning huddle, and we are glad you are with us. Make sure uh, you've uh, do, done your due diligence as faithful listeners and companions. Uh, go to our YouTube feed. Uh, that is the morning huddle. And make sure you're subscribed so you get all the appropriate updates and uh, alerts. And like us on the daily, we do appreciate things like that. It, Give us a little dopamine pop every time you do it. A little, little something, something. Um, this last 10 days has been as good a basketball and as much basketball as I have ever watched. And it has been, uh, there hasn't been a lot of the, the one shining moment, last second shots to win it. We've had a few. But as a whole, the games have been phenomenal. We've had the, the freight trains. We've had the superstars roll through. We've got our Cinderella. We've got uh, dominance from a conference. We've got all the old plot lines kind of rolling into what it's going to be a pretty phenomenal final four, it feels like. Of all the stories, RJ, what's the best one to you? DJ Burns. D- no question. It's certainly the and best feel good. I would also offer UConn uh, because it's tough to repeat. And, and they haven't yet, but I mean, they're making it look pretty easy. They're making it look, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, and I really, it's so, we act like it's a frustrating thing when, when things go chalk, but it is kind of satisfying too. Like, let's see one and two. It let's, feels let's see good. The, yeah. the two best. And yeah, most you know people's I mean? brackets were not broken for a long time. Most people, it, even the novices pick the favorites, you know? So I think a lot of people were involved for longer, especially after last year when it was just another collapse of brackets. So I think that, the, you know, it has played well in the, the viewership, which has been solid, um, if not utterly spectacular. It's been well watched. Um, it's been everything that we could have hoped for with, you know, the superstars as well. Zach Eady, my goodness, he's the player of the year, the guy that he, had been at Purdue for years. He's gotten Painter finally to the Final Four, all the Purdue storylines. And ZD has, or Zach Eady, excuse me, Eady has been – extraordinary i mean just as dominant and as uh, as imposing and as threatening and as everything you'd hoped yesterday the game against tennessee he came to play their star came to play and connect who man oh man i kind of covet that guy and Edie for that matter um great storyline there did you see uconn riff off a 30 to nothing run oh dude i mean <laughs> like i'm saying when when have they been remotely challenged? You know what I mean? Like when, when have you, and I think that's, what's been, so yes, is the answer, but I think that's been, um, who did Marquette struggle against? Uh, was it Western Kentucky in, in the opening round? Uh-huh. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? Like any of the like quote unquote top dogs or heavy seeds or whatever who have fallen, 
um, it was somewhat predictable, right? Like you could kind of see them taking on water at an earlier part in the tournament. When has that ever happened? I know Purdue maybe had a little bit of a touch and go moment, but I mean, UConn has just been this machine and Dan Hurley's making them, you know, indestructible on top of it all. E- everything about what they have going on, I vibe with. And uh, I, a lot by the numbers have them in the final four beating Purdue. We do have that possibility of literally one versus two taking each other on on a Monday night. There's a lot between here and there. And I think Burns, the Burns ED matchup, we got a couple days to prepare for the uh, the Godzilla versus Kong matchup that's coming because Burns is the biggest little player I've ever seen. In what way? I mean, he's light on his feet. Uh, his game isn't predicated on uh, post up moves other than with quick feet. He uses his girth to great effect. My gosh, he, he's fun to watch and as graceful as any big man has ever been. Some of the moves he can manage to pull off, I, I'm still astounded by. He's just this ridiculously good story that you wonder how do we get all the way through this season without knowing about this cat and i'm a basketball guy i didn't realize the acc was as good as it was nor did i think he was as good as it was as he is and north carolina state is a revelation that you know we look at them at like cinderella's they don't play like cinderella that's not a team that's relying on the failures and, and you know miracle moments they just grind you down man that's that's a hell of a team the acc you know, the rumors that their demise are greatly exaggerated and those football schools they're trying to get out maybe are looking at this conference going, wait a minute, there's still something here worthy of staying. Oh, my gosh. No, they're not. I'm, well, I'm just saying as a, a conference a, as a whole, if you're desperate to leave, you got three teams. These no, three, you know how much money the rest of the conference is making because those guys are in the final four? Everybody gets a cut of this. I'm it, not it's good money. That, but do you think that for even – one second. I don't know the Clemson AD's name off the top of my head, but let me pull this person up. So let's see here. What do you think the Clemson AD's name is? <laughs> I'm going to say something like Hootie. Scooby or Neff. Hootie? What? Oh. G- Graham Neff is the That's uh, about right. you know, AD at Clemson. So do you think Graham Neff at any point last oh, yesterday said, damn, NC State's in the Final Four. We should so totally are they, by the rethink. way. They, I mean, they're in the Elite Eight because of the games they were playing. I'm, I know, I, I'm I know. not no, no, saying no, no, it's no. a prepon- it's a preponderance on one side of the positive of staying is what I'm saying. Because I felt like the it's, ACC was done for. Like their basketball uh, situation, even what they were, why be there? For. It, if Clemson is it, – because it's, it's all about football. So if Clemson is le- – there, nothing – I guarantee you, nothing dissuaded them from leaving the ACC. Clemson, oh, the ACC is not it, done it, for. Uh, they're, they're good. They're, they're signed into the contract. They're representative. They're, they're not done for it. Pac 12 is done for it. That's they're, well, the, I mean, they're it, the last well, to that's die. That's done, done. For, but what but I'm saying I mean, is the rumors of their demise, I think were greatly exaggerated. I thought that the program had, you know, because football was down that basketball just didn't feel the same either. And some of it might've been new coaches as, as we watched Shire walk the sidelines, it just didn't feel right. But the basketball was right. And the ACC was playing the best basketball in the country. Well, when you have three teams make it as far as they did, especially the supposed Cinderella. Yeah, there, there's no question. And that's been the best story. And the SEC's failure. Uh, we thought the SEC was better and they they aren't, though Alabama reigns supreme. And the only thing about Alabama that I really care about is Coach Clonch uh, still can't get to San Antonio. That's OK. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's I mean? one of those we'll, things like, we'll, OK, we're good. We'll we'll hold off. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get ride on the phone. this out. You take your time. Call those recruits and tell them where you are. Where you're going? Tell them where you are now. Say you're in Phoenix, and you'll meet him in San Antonio. Get on the phone. We need the. This is some. This is some. Some clout, Clunch. Um, I've been trying to say that all day. I couldn't wait to launch that one. It's got some crusty crab alliteration. It does. There's a little alliteration on. to it, but it feels yeah. good. Uh, and really, congratulations to Bama too. Nate Oates. It's one of those great coaches. You saw it coming, and he has built himself a. A, a team that they all look and play alike downhill fast. And that little point guard, he could play. If you, uh, what do you rank? Uh, I know well, that you on, have. I have a question for you. Okay. If, if you'll allow me. You, so by your own admission, you've watched more of the tournament than in, let, let's say, <laughs> just by happenstance. Yeah. I've been available to all of it. Okay. So that being said, do you feel satisfied? Yes. Like, does the final, does the final four live up to, 
to you. Like, Absolutely. Do you, do you, it does. does it feel commensurate with your experience? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, we've got the we've got the story, we've got the Cinderella, uh, we've got the Juggernauts, we've got everything that is required of a Final Four. We've got the okay. singular check, story. Check, 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 check. Uh, gotcha. We've got the number one versus number two possibility. We have the Naismith Player of the Year, two three years running. We 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 have the 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 best team for the last two years coming in. Uh, we have the Cinderella and North Carolina State, and the parallels between this year and 1983 are ridiculous. Uh, where they came from, they're an 11th seed, the lowest tied for in the history of this of this of the 64. So uh, I can't imagine a better group of plot lines headed to Phoenix. It is it, it, if I'm the the negotiating team for the NCAA basketball uh, franchise in the coming years, I am high fiving, dude. We're making money hand over fist this is with well, this couldn't have gone better it, it really couldn't have it uh, i agree with you you've got the two no offense to houston but or arizona i guess but you've got the two kind of consensus you know favorites yes. so to speak when the tournament began you have each of them on a potential upset in fact this is sort of representative of what march madness is as a whole do you know what the lines are the opening lines in oh both of the semifinal I, games? I, I would assume that UConn is favored by three, and I would take if it, on on the other side of that, Purdue by about eight over Alabama. You are cl very close on Purdue. Uh, Purdue, they are nine point favorites over the Wolfpack. Okay, but you could not have been more wrong about really? UConn. UConn favored by eleven and a half. Eleven. So you're talking about two? Not quite yet. I mean, we could we'll see how this goes as the week moves along. Obviously. But if Purdue got to a, a double-digit point favorite, you would have two double-digit point dogs in the Final Four. And if there's ever any sporting event in the world where being a double-digit point dog means nothing, it is <laughs> this one. True and that. so that's why, like, it's exciting to think about the possibilities. And, us, and, and similarly, it's also exciting to think about if it runs chalk because I don't think anybody would be bothered a week from tonight watching Purdue and UConn, you know, tip off. Not that would at all. be an incredible basketball game. And, and uh, you know, I think that the powers that be would, at the end of the day, Alabama probably the least favored team to make it. You know, just as far as popularity and you know regional right. care. But everybody else seems to be kind of that national thing. Zach Eady's the mop, most outstanding player. Um, is there? I mean, Burns certainly has a has a claim to it. Did Conne no, can Connect get it? Even though that they aren't going to progress. No, I this, mean, who's this, your player of the is, tournament so far? It's Zach. It, it has is. To be. Yeah. It's future San Antonio Spurs big man, Zach Eady. There's no question about it. <laughs> I do yeah. believe, uh, you know, every mock has, you know, prior to this weekend or this week, he's late second or for early second, late first at best. I do believe he's certainly played himself into the first round. I can't imagine passing him up in the middle. And I, I think there's some teams that look at the draft table and go, you know, the difference between five and 15 is nominal. I'm trading out. I'm getting out of this. I don't think it's nominal, but it's not massive either. I just saw, I, I don't want to give credit to the one that, you know, now is the, for the draft, whether it be NFL or NBA, you just throw one on paper just to see the reaction. And the latest one I saw had the first six or seven dudes, all Euros, because the, the, the talent has been, you know, just the guys that we thought were first round worthy, you know, we expect great play in the tourney and the Kentucky kids collapse. So they fell out. And we've had some other early outs. USC, we didn't see their point guard. Auburn got some dudes. They're gone. So it felt like, now let's throw every Euro up in the top nine picks or eight picks. That's not going to happen. So I think Edie has actually helped his draft stock. I think that he has really gotten himself into mid, maybe late lottery. I mean. Do, do you remember Yao? Do you remember watching Yao Ming play? I mean, it was such a oh, brief moment in time that there's a lot of people really don't remember Yao because healthy and, and longevity, it just didn't go well. But when he was healthy and one was playing. He was. That's one of those things that you can't forget. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it, Because it was so unique. And so you're saying that this is that. You're ready I, to go. I'm far. not saying he's Yao because Yao was. <laughs> Fully healthy. I mean, he was, I'll throw out another old name. He was Arvita Sabonis, uh, pass wise, but taller. I mean, he was, my gosh. And Edie looks like that. He's still skinny. I mean, he's older, but there's some weight that he can put on. But the way that he dominates the paint, that jump hook, he ain't stopping that. Wimby might be able to get to it, but can you imagine <laughs> them together? 
I mean, it's just crazy enough to work. Trade down to about 15. Peanut butter and jelly. Why not? It couldn't hurt, way, could it? I have a very quick question for you. I had a friend who told me recently that when he makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he puts the two condiments in a bowl and mixes okay. them up before he and then and then puts that new generated material on the bread. Well, that tells me a Your couple thoughts. things. One, that his <laughs> mother cleaned his dishes for him. Okay. Because any fool who has to do his own dishes ain't doing that. Right. Okay. So he came, he grew up taking care of probably an only child. The only thing that, the only thing that separates us from that is are his parents like feeding him directly into his mouth, like a bird. They just, I mean, that that's just gross it, to me. It's just I, gross. I find it to be pretty gross too, but he swears by it. And I, I don't know what the chemical reaction or whatever involved is here. If there's like something in the enzymes that's no. happening during the mixture process, but I want nothing to do with it. The value is the separation until the last possible moment. The value is in that. And that is gross. You gotta, you gotta I, I don't hit like the talking ejector about it. At, at, yeah, at the exact last moment. No, that, right. it's just unfathomable. And I, and I hate that you brought it up. <laughs> okay, I'll tell him that. No, but you can buy the jar that it's already in there. So by the time it gets onto the bread, it's already kind of mixed. And I always found that gross. I would not want do that you, jar. Um, when you make one, do you use the same knife? Are you that weird? No, I got to clean it off. See, again, the, the key to a great peanut butter and jelly is they don't meet until you eat. They they stay You're apart. You put, you you put, put one on either bread. What, there's jelly on one side, peanut butter on, on the other. Oh, that's stupid. That's what dumb. are you talking about? They all smear agree. together. Again, that proves my point. The key to a great peanut butter and jelly is the last minute together. And as soon as you slap those two together, you got to take a bite. That, that's no, the best bite. I, I because, go peanut butter on each on each bread and then jelly on each bread. That and then you know well, then the, the quantity mean, kind of varies, but uh, you're ruining it again. The you're, secret you're to a great an peanut imbalance butter. of a no. material because if you have all, but peanut if butter you're on rubbing bread, the jelly, jelly on, the on top of the peanut butter or vice versa, are you cleaning the knife every time or are you just sticking a I dirty knife knives. back? That's, that's why. That's oh, why. So I asked again, you, I use you two use, knives. Again, then you mama took care of your dishes. Well, no, two a second knives. knife is really easy to wash as opposed to a bowl. Two I knives? Mean, the bowl thing, I... So how much water you waste a year? The, all I'm saying is the bowl thing is or like... Or are that, you that's the, the gross kind of type that's soap, licking too. the knife and then going back no, in? I would never do You're that. a knife licker, that's aren't you? That's not my thing. You go no. back in after no. the lick. You are. I, I, I know you are. I would never lick a knife. I, I think you are. No. I think you're weird that you make... So you make a peanut butter bread and a jelly bread. And then that's I, effectively what you're doing. Yes, and then the reason being, the great peanut butter and jelly taste is the separation you want the jelly you want the peanut why mix it early you get them together you slap it and the first thing huh, it's the best bite it's all downhill from um, there i on this i guess like just quickly while we're disagreeing on things are you a crunchy or smooth person oh crunchy oh thank god okay okay i was gonna have I'm to not, i'm not a psychopath like, i was gonna have to cut you out of my yeah, life yeah i mean because we're, we're not <laughs> <laughs> we're we're we're, we're I'm, we, yeah i'm i may be weird with my breads here I mean, but i'm not a we're on the you know same I mean? plane we got we, we can argue about about little yeah. things but the big ones we're on the same planes here creamy is Respect. gross creamy is pointless it is What's uh, and i guess it's a for strawberry well see i can on occasion go strawberry i choose not to but i've had it before and it's not bad I i'm not i'm not strawberry anti. if i'm being honest yeah it's, i'm not but, anti uh because a grape can, flavor can be some are overwhelming, and I don't want it to be. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's why you do your bread thing. Because the grape thing is so overwhelming that you're like, I don't want that involved until like the last you know, one possible second moment. On the shot clock. It's, it's very much yeah. the, uh, the 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 Asian four corners. You want the sweet, the savory. You want the the, the, Ooh, the sour Old and the salty. Finger, one two three it says half the bread, peanut butter, and the other half jelly on the other bread. The same then smash Squish jelly, cross. touch peanut ah. butter. But see, like now thought. you gotta be real careful with your knives. Like, yeah. you, you gotta be like a, a very precise smearer. Yeah, you know I'm not I'm, I'm not so, technically yeah. proficient enough to, to do that. I just slap it on one to the other. Wow. I lick the blade because I am a nymphy nester. Who else is gonna be in there? Wow. Feel bad for the blades in your house. Yeah, well, such is life. We're glad you're with us this morning. Uh we have already given away our tickets to the uh Valero Texas Open, but uh you will have some more all day long. The Blitz will have some. But we're gonna be broadcasting live out there this week, Thursday and Friday from the beautiful driving range there at uh, the TPC. Cannot wait. It's one of the best times of the year. True proof spring has sprung. It looks like the weather's gonna be uh uh helpful as we get ready for 
the big event on Monday. It's coming. It's almost the event. The the event, the big one. The signing of Zeke Elliott. It's it's coming. <laughs> uh, Just go to break. I don't hey, to hear <laughs> hey, coming back. Zeke might be a Dallas Cowboy. We'll figure out how the hell we got to here. And oh, by the I'm way, gonna... don't get tricked. Uh, check uh, your calendars. We'll be right back. You're on 941 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, are your brackets broken? Are you looking at a page full of red lines if you are don't worry the madness continues head over to betus.com there's still plays to be had at the best book out there and they're willing to help you out a little bit it's basketball madness and head to the hoop with betus.com you know i've been around these guys for a long time it's the only book i've ever endorsed here on san antonio sports star betus.com and they're back with something i've never seen before how about offering you 125 percent sign up bonus on your first three deposits go jump in there right now they're going to match it up to 125 percent in the Plays will be available tonight as college basketball continues. Both the ladies and men's NBA is in full swing. Make sure you're making the money, playing the games at BetUS.com. And one of the great things about BetUS is they've also got 10% gambler's insurance. Even more, BetUS.com accepts crypto. and You can get up to a 200% sign-up bonus by bringing that to the parties as well. That's why I go to BetUS.com, and it only gets better from there. Because while you're there, check out the casino. Yeah, they've got all the live plays you want and all the teases and all the props and, of course, all the info you need, but you want to go play some of the casino games, they're right there waiting on you with bonuses there too. Head over to BetUS.com. Give them a call at 1-800-MY-BETUS, but make sure you're doing it. Take advantage of all that, and I know you're going to be thanking me later. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, we are back from Las Vegas, back in studio, and, well, we got a Final Four to talk about. Yeah, Final Four is set. We'll react to that plus stories from Vegas that are shareable. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Train heating and cooling systems are tested, retested, engineered, and re-engineered to keep up with you. We run together. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer. Traininfo.com. It's hard to stop a train. Most of us go to the doctor when we're sick or need prescriptions refilled. But at the Institute for Functional Health, we offer a different and complete version of primary care. This means you will get the medications you need, but we will also put together a custom game plan to fix the root cause and allow your body to heal itself. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, and we help people get off of medications. Call me for a free consultation, 468-1891, or online at ifhealth.com. You will experience a doctor's visit unlike any you've ever had. 468-1891. San Antonio, get ready for Car Fest, April 5th through the 7th at the Freeman Expo Hall. Enjoy a car show, driver workshops, entertainment, plus the chance to win a free car. And the best part, admission is free. Learn more at carfestsa.org. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a lawyer for us.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Jake from State Farm. I'm winning. I finally cleaned my house, so I'm breaking out my new tropical room spray. <clears throat> Keep winning and create an affordable price just for you by bundling your home and auto with the State Farm Personal Price Plan. It's like your own personal paradise. Ooh, hey, grab me a coconut water. Bundling, just another way to save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices are based on rating plans that vary by state. Coverage options are selected by the customer. Availability, amount of discounts and savings, and eligibility vary by state. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack, and of course, you're already late for work. 
Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality, and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty, too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com. And tell them, Dave Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656-PURE, Kinetico. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. Hey, it's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. Valero, Texas opens this week. We're going to be live out there. We're going to have tickets for you all week long. Um, Saturday and Sunday tickets. Make sure you're tuned into the Blitz. Fresh back from Vegas. I'm sure this studio is going to smell like a uh, a uh, mop of a bar at the end of the night. So they sweat out all the poison that they imbibed, uh, imbibed over the Easter week in that circa. Looked like uh, I wonder how many stories we're actually going to be able to hear. I wonder how many hours of sleep they got. I'm sure it was a lot. You know how they are. Yeah. I, I, they're not I, warriors gonna, who wake up I, early. I want to talk some Dallas Cowboys when I ask a question. Has anybody seen the new uh, Roadhouse yet? You know, it's a remake for those of you who are unaware. Roadhouse, the movie Roadhouse has been remade. Okay. With Jake Gyllenhaal. Have you, do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about, the trailer. So, where he's like a fighter, it's like Fight Club, basically. So, you, do you know of the original Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze? No. Who's that? Um, we just I know re- who that is. entered a realm. Relax. He's, you know, Relax. the Roadhouse, it's Relax. a classically cool. bad Stay 80s home. movie. Okay. But it's a great most, bad most of them are. Yeah, I mean it's a it's kind of like uh, Bad Boys, a great bad movie. Okay. See, I, I'm trying to elicit a reaction from you there, and I didn't get it. I'm surprised. But they remade it with Jack Gyllenhaal, and it's on I think Prime. Jake or Jake Jack. It's all the same. And they've got uh, it's got uh, Conor McGregor is a is the bad guy. <laughs> and it sounds... is as glorious as you could expect. If you wow. have this the wherewithal, sounds incredible. if you have the wherewithal, I beg of you. I beg you to go watch Roadhouse. It is as glorious a movie as I've seen in a long time. Truly classic cinema. I think Hall um, pound for pound is America's best actor. That's not even remotely close to accurate. Give me, your, give me a nominee. Pound for America's, pound, America's, America's best, best actor. actor. When who can... Best? Play a pe- all from you know this is a Oscar worthy performances all the way to Roadhouse. Well, I mean, I would put Bradley Cooper's pretty versatile, but Very I don't. Good. And, I, would, I mean, so I put Bradley there. up there, and he, he's physically fit. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know that he could do Roadhouse, no, but I, I do think he he has an ele- no. Hang on, that he he has a, an element that he can explore that maybe even Jake couldn't. Andrew Garfield is wildly talented. And but he, he learned to this. sing for Tick Tick Boom. I'm, I'm saying, but he he, he can he can cover music. Now Garfield's the old Spider Man, right? He was the second Spider Man. Yeah, but I don't think that I don't think Jake could um could do that. You know what I mean? I don't think Jake could could sing. Probably I mean, not. He, no, I'll agree, I'll agree with that. Probably not a singer. Um, I mean, see, like Leo is great, but Leo is just now kind of like yeah, his he's, own. He's yeah, he's on a whole other thing. There's other there's actors that are in a category that I'm not even comparing him to. I mean. But I don't know. Really, um, name a Jake Gyllenhaal movie that you ever went and saw and said that movie sucked. Now I was fully on on this one. I wanted to dislike it thoroughly. 
because it's it's typical. Name a Jake but Gyllenhaal it was movie that it was sucked. well done. Typical. So Jake Gyllenhaal, let's see his filmography here. Good ones, man. Up and down the list, I'm telling you, pound for pound, it's he's an intense act. Jake's having quite the having a good run. run here. He really is. Yeah. So looking at his filmography, let's see here. Where is it? I don't know why it's taking forever to pull up now. Um, I mean, I Nightcrawler to... was a great movie. Yes. The one where he was a cop? Where he was a cop? Well, yeah, well, he's made several where he was a cop. One where he was a, a black and white PD, LAPD officer. You know what's a great, great I'm sorry, to Last, interrupt you. Uh, you know what's a, a great Jake Gyllenhaal movie that doesn't get talked about a lot that I watched in um, in, in high school? October Sky. That was an awesome movie. Where he's in high school and he builds uh they oh, build yeah, rocket the, the rocket ship. And by yeah, the way, his, Andrew his, Garfield his... is British. What uh, was your was your qualifier American? Pound I for pound even... America's best act. Okay, then never mind. Um obviously Roadhouse Andrew Garfield did is suck other... Peter Strada, but that's not the point. It was glorious in his suckness. He elevated the suckiness to a level of which I did not think possible. And I mean that in the best possible light. Also a great Jake Gyllenhaal movie, The Day After Tomorrow. Yes. Nobody really talks about that I'm movie. I'm telling anymore. you. He pound for pound, every movie he's in is good. I mean, well, hang on. I don't know if I'd say well, every some movie, guys have a he... knack for just picking good movies, but I think for the most part, he elevates the movie. I think he adds to every movie he's been in. There's a lot of actors are that are in good movies, just they just happen to be there. But I think Gyllenhaal has been consistent there. Not he's not the kind of guy that I've always been a fan of, but well, as the years have passed, and last night, man. It's one of those. So you you watched this last night. Oh, I saying. did. I watched the whole. And I, I'm telling you, I I wanted to you know find a reason to turn it off, and uh, no, I had to wait till it was over to turn the Spurs game on. You know, he has done some Broadway work. I don't know if he if he sang in all of it, but <laughs> that is. I did not expect to go down this road with you today. I got to say, I mean. It, I'm glad I could uh, kind of enlighten you. I'm glad, but you're going to have a point now uh, to go. Or that's. I'm a but not enough people. But I'm. I'm at the very least happy this brought up an opportunity to talk about October Sky. That movie doesn't get talked about enough. That movie. He's like in West amazing. Virginia. Something. He's out in the middle of. I don't remember what it was, but it's, it's. Let's see how on fire you are. Give me the state you think it takes place in. I felt like he was up in like the West Virginia hollers or something like that. I, it's been a minute since I've seen the movie. So it takes place right, what are you in. Reading? Holy crap, Rob! Colwood, West Virginia. Wow. This is your day, dude. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Wow. Who, um, while we're here, who played yeah, the baby. teacher? I have the no son- idea. Yeah. I, I cannot remember. I- it's going to bother you because I promise you it, it's going to bother you a lot because the, the, he has, they have a science teacher who kind of like opens uh-huh. the door to, I can picture. you know, rockets and whatnot. It, it was, was Laura Dern. Yeah, I was going to say I picture her, but I don't. It was Laura Dern. Mm-hmm. See? I, I I did not even think about it. Uh, that's wow. uh, that was my that's the one respite I've had from basketball over the last several. I still haven't seen Dune. Today. Roadhouse. I have, still haven't been but to the But you didn't theater. have to go anywhere to see Roadhouse, right? It's on. No, Prime. it just popped right on right there. It was uh, an easy get. And by well, the way, while we're that. talking TV, if you're not watching Three Body Problem, dude, see, that like you gotta recommend ridiculous. stuff that people can actually watch. Like you, you do this. Like you recommend the weirdest stuff that can't actually be this seen you know like oh, watch blowing this. Like, stuff, weird man. man the aliens are coming they're coming i didn't realize it but they're coming it'd be about 400 years but they're on their way they're coming from a long way away wow i'm really no? happy for you that you landed this plane so so smoothly this is one of those like we landed i didn't even feel it you know what i mean like wow i can turn my phone back I yeah can you take can take it off airplane mode i, I can bring I it can... all i can bring it all the way home respect let's talk some cowboys we promised it and uh april fools by the way check your calendar and uh be aware of anything you read or hear first off count to, count to three and then react because it might be an april fools joke i i don't do that to people i hate april fools jokes my son one time a couple of years ago texted me that he was in jail and had a great story and i was like getting ready to go you know i'm mad i'm about to go and the whole thing he hook line and sinker got me Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, one so year, I always warn people against the April Fools, man. Don't don't fall for it. One year, um, I called my parents and told them 
that I had been casted See? on the or that I was in, in the final process of being casted for the real world. <laughs> Cause I I anticipated that they would be like, You're not doing this. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so I, I kind of laid out like, well, this is what the show is and blah, blah. And I'm, I'm going to drive over here and I'm going to have this interview. And they were like, oh, my gosh, we're so proud of you. And I was just all, man, well, this sucks. You so, you know, you, yeah, you <laughs> ruined it now. So oh. that sucked a lot. April Fool. Hey, come back. To, are the Cowboys April Fools? Is Zeke around the corner and the rest of the NFL world as we hurl headfirst into the draft? Uh, we'll look at the latest draft notes, too. Let's talk some NFL. Hang around with us. This is. 94.1, and you're on San Antonio Sports Talk. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Talk and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all Quarter Moon 14 Sear AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M160044. DACLA 0007434. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. <laughs> Florida offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, <laughs> man steps under the... <laughs> BetUS always has your back with... <laughs> back to back to back. 125% sign-up bonuses on your first three deposits. <laughs> and even 10% gambler's insurance. <laughs> BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game... <laughs> Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge Motor Oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic, only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on Sequence 3 H test versus API SP test limits. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate, or hiring someone to move your piano instead of doing it yourself. So do things the better way. Bundle home and auto and save up to 25% with Allstate. Bundled savings vary by state and are not available in every state. Saving up to 25% is the countrywide average of the maximum available savings off the home policy. Allstate Vehicle and Property Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. I wish I could get this stupid jar open. Jars can be tough, am I right? Who are you? And how'd you get in my kitchen? It's me, Flo, and I'm here to grant your wish of easily switching to Progressive and helping you get a discount that honors the time spent with your previous insurer. Great, but what does that have to do with getting this jar open? Nothing. So you can't open this? Oh, I just do insurance. Jars, I leave to the professionals. Sign up for Progressive and opt into more savings. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Not available in all states or situations. It's one thing falling in love with a house picturing yourself moving in and calling it home, and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating, mortgage lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide, because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Paid for by jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. 
Hello? This is your fortune. Listen, the Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy your official state lottery tickets right from your phone. I can do that. With the jackpot.com lottery app, you can. Your fortune is calling. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Go to the app store and search for the jackpot.com lottery app. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Good morning, everybody. Joe Reinagle here. Yes, we are back from Las Vegas and back in the studio. we got plenty of stories to tell. We'll tell you all about our adventure in Las Vegas. Plus, we've got a Final Four to talk about. That's right. The Final Four is set. How's your bracket look? Hey, Rob, back from Vegas. Pockets are empty. I need a loan. <laughs> hey, that's Joe and Jason. They're back. The Blitz will be broadcasting live from the friendly confines of the Radio Ranch. Uh, he's RJ. I'm Rob. We're doing the same here on the Morning Huddle. We're glad you're with us. Um, word has it. Who is the uh, writer that's telling us this? Um, that the, so Z- Zeke well, is imminent. It was. It was Jeremy Fowler over the weekend who reported that they had a, a mutual interest in one another. The Cowboys and Z. This was at ESPN. And then over the weekend, in the aftermath of that, Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News basically said, prepare for Zeke and Dalvin Cook to be in consideration with a rookie draft. So Gelkin said. So that's what well, I mean, I would say Gelkin and Jeremy Fowler. So Gelkin, though, we, we – well – well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm giving Jeremy his credit too. No, no, we, yeah, absolutely. But we give, it, my we give multiple people credit. And you want three, yeah. and we're two there. But it does appear that this is coming the direction that Zeke's going to be re-signed. Um, and and the sad thing is, I'm not mad at it. That is sad. You've lost the will to fight. No, I, I know yes. where the Cowboys sit. I know that they are going to be value seeking. They don't have a lot of money, nor do they have a lot of space. Buy they into us. could have a lot of money. Don't fall. Well, they could have. No, Trump. you're right. You're right. But they are evidently working a plan that's not going to involve that. But it, it, but given the situation, if any NFL team, not just the Cowboys, uh, today announced that they are signing Zeke to a league minimum to be a backup running back, I would go, yeah, that's de rigueur. And, then, and if you mentioned five other dudes, I'd go, yeah, okay. This is the season for that. And I know the Cowboys need that. And he's, by at least one measure, the best out there. I don't care how much I paid him before, how much I still got to pay him. That check's going to be written regardless. This is another check that I will give to him as well. And name me damned, he's the best one out there for what I need. He can pick up a blitz. I know he can do that. He's done it a long time. Uh, He's three and a half yards to carry. Uh, Had a long of 17, so I got that to looking forward to. Um, If you're looking forward to that, then you have Dude, he's not going to hit the field, and they're paying him nothing. And if they do need him, He's been around the block. He knows the guys in the room. He knows where the parking places are. He knows all the stuff. He's used to the circus. It's not great. He but it ain't the, the circus. Ah, he's he did yes. not anymore. He's a third string running back now. Let's let's be talk about what he is. Rob, They're gonna pay a couple we, million dollars a year for. We're in a situation where we have been to the doctor and they have said you got to cut out alcohol. You got to cut out fried foods. Like you really got to start eating a little bit healthy. And the Cowboys have decided to just continually eat fast food, right? Like, uh, like they're just completely ignoring <laughs> all all direction from from the medical professionals and just. We have established a championship program. It's just not the world yeah. championship yet. Exactly it. You know, what I'm saying we're eating healthy. We're you know we're putting lettuce on the burgers. You know, what I'm saying well, like, this it's is all, extra lettuce. It's, uh, okay, it's, it's not it's, it's all, all the relative. way there. I'm this having is, a salad so, with my Sunday. No. No, so this is that. So okay, so this so we haven't been eating properly, right? So we're, we're a month in, you know, post doctor visit and and we haven't done 
anything the doctor advised. In fact, we've only you know lived on the opposite side of the spectrum that the that the medical professional would prefer. And now this Zeke thing is like saying, well, you know what? Um, I mean, I mean, you know, let's he's just... not poison. He's just an old running back. No, That's no, no, the no, best no. One out there for what I'm chasing. That isn't. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. It that, doesn't it, mean again, it's a that, bad thing either. It's it just does. A it does. If if you're if you're just getting into this conversation in the month of April, then it is a bad thing. You you have you have gone about this wrong. So you're you're already in the wrong. We're here. So like what you're saying is like, well, you know, I'm supposed to be eating right, but I wandered into the fry the fried chicken you know restaurant. So. Since I'm in here now, I might as well, you know, just get like the the four piece. You know what I'm saying? And and I'll and I I could just like not eat the the skin, but I'm going to because I'm in the building as is. I might as well. I'm sitting here now. You walked in. You know what I'm saying? You walked in. You told the 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 hostess how many people were in your party. You walked over there. You sat down. You opened the menu, and you're about to order. This is all on you. This is just a backup running back that was signed the first week of April, if they even do it. He's got to see the field once a game, maybe. I mean, uh, this, you're, this is just still, a position to be filled. He's not taking carries from anybody currently on the team, if he's even I don't signed. Get, but I, I don't want to get symbolic or, or make a mountain out of a molehill, okay? But to make a mountain out of a molehill, because I think it's appropriate in this particular case, uh-huh. Zeke obviously carries an enormous history with the team. Yes. And and I want to be very clear, he was a wonderful player for the Cowboys. I have many great memories of him. He may deserve a spot in the Ring of Honor at some point in the future. No, no ill will towards Zeke and what he has contributed to the team. He he, you know, he was a great and good soldier for his entire career with the team. But the team decided by the way that it was time to move on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like now all of a sudden we're going to pull this about face. That being said, he brings a natural show with him because of who he is and his history and, and what all this would entail. So you're not only, you know, doing this, you know, in spite of, you know, the precarious and toxic position that you have put yourself in this off season. But so now you're going to add this. Dalton Schultz was the one who said it's like a zoo. What, what you're doing is adding a whole new wing. It's like, Hey, we're actually going to bring in some South African animals to the zoo people here. The zoo is only growing in size and stature, but beyond all of that, you can't even do it without leaking it to people for weeks on end right like like doing this in general is is you know kind of peeing into the oh, wind enough oh so but, here but you, it is you, okay you can't even do this the incredibly showy thing without making a big spectacle of it which is again why you should not trust this so it's like, not like, zeke it's how they're doing it like if we hadn't whole, heard no, anything zeke, and then this but, morning it just crossed the wire cowboys have assigned zeke Elliott to a league minimum one-year deal He's. It wouldn't be a league minimum to a one-year deal because he's already on the books That's for this year from the deal, horrible though. contract that, that they gave him. That doesn't matter, that though, That context man. matters. No, it doesn't. That context... If it was any other back, the same amount of money going to him it wouldn't Why matter. Why can't it be any other back then? Why well, does it have to be this one? Because by at least one list I've seen, he's the best one out there. Who cares what random list you Googled? I mean, you know, like, it it doesn't have to be this way. I agree with Pete in the Brigade Bar says, we opened up the menu and we're ordering the special. (laughs) Like, that. that's what I'm saying. Like, they're doing this. I know what the special (laughs) is. I know how they cook it. It's good. It's not great. I mean, they showed up and the the waiter or waitress was like, well, today the chef's special is we're going to, you know, just marinate this in pig fat. And then we're going to deep fry it and then we're going to take it out and we're going to sprinkle on four pounds of sugar. And then we're going to add six pounds of maple syrup. And then we're going to deep fry it again. And then we're going to put some ranch dressing. Sounds like all this for the ranch f- from the, uh, uh, the state fair. I'm in. By the way, it all comes with a strawberry milkshake on the side. But I'll tell you, know, you if they if you'd have read Boston Scott this morning, you would have been oh, OK. You would have been you wouldn't have given it a second thought. You know why? Because that wouldn't have been a show. That would have been an actual sign of, hey, look, we understand we screwed the pooch here a little bit, right? We went about this whole running back thing in an improper way. We need a body. Boston Scott is a body. Why can't you but buy if, that? If, if, you're not, if you're not willing to acknowledge that this is more than just a body, you're not being genuine because I, you know that it is. I think right? they this, got more for than I think they wanted that. The two, whatever the league minimum is, they got more than just a body. Yes. 
They want, but they don't want more than just a body. They want a show. They they want, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They're like, yes. bring on the special, add the wing to the zoo. That's not a hallmark of a competent, functional NFL team. It, like they are making it so <laughs> difficult to push back against the notion that they care only about money. Th- this is a marketing move. That's all this is. This is, th- you know it what? This is, is a marketing this is, move. I agree with this that. This is, we're stuck. Uh, why don't we have Joey and Rachel date? That's what this is. Like, this is a horrible idea wow. that nobody that weird. is not going to work out. Uh, I know, I, exactly. I, I will say, if all things being equal, all the running backs on the list are all the same. I mean, they might do one or two things different. I do know that he can pick up a blitz. He's one of the better blitz picker uppers get a, okay, in his. If, if you're. <laughs> So your, your focus. No, your I have to is, find is, a guy. There's got. I mean, a running back has to do several things, and I'm really. At, this is bottom of the barrel, third guy in knowledge over ability on some of these things. Teaching a young guy, there's something to bringing him back, especially if they're planning on drafting a running back. Which is we're going to talk about that in the in the nine o'clock. Which back should they be looking, and how early do you get them? Considering the other things you got to get. Um, and if it's just for the purposes that I'm talking about, this is a, a fine hire, and he can be a mentor. He can be the locker room guy that he was. Nobody ever questioned. Well, they did question. But um, if you're so what I was going to say is with- sobriety, but I don't think anybody's questioned his work ethic. The dude always came to play and was ready to go and played hurt and did everything you ever asked him to do. And why? He would be a fine mentor for a young back. That's great, dude. I'm not casting for the, the remake of Friday Night Lights. Yeah, I'm trying to win football games. And, and so I would also offer that, okay, great. He's a, a, a fine you know, pass blocker. He, he, he can help you block. If that is so important it to you, is. why the hell would you let Tyron Smith walk and Tyler Biotish walk? Well, like, now I got to get back up. If, if that is truly your, your utmost concern, why would you let them walk? Well, no, we can't have Tyron Smith, but holy crap, we need Zeke to protect. Well, to protect see, now that. we need him because we got to protect because uh, what's the what's the guy's name? If he can get off work, uh, will be the new uh, left uh, or the new center at the very least. Um, he, oh, we need Brock Hoffman. We need Brock Hoffman. We got Brock Hoffman at center. We need Zeke. We know he's going to have to be picking up some guys. This is just. I, it isn't the it best is, move, but it's a good, it's a cowboy move, and it ain't it awful. Is a, it ain't It awful. is a non serious move. I cannot wait for five years from now when you finally watch Succession and you watch Logan Roy say, I love you, but you're not serious people. That is exactly who the Dallas Cowboys are. They are not a serious franchise. Two things as we head toward the draft. Um, there's a lot of discussion. I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is the best player in the draft. Duh. Duh. Right? Right? Well, yeah. isn't there some well, talk I about mean, Malik? Caleb is Caleb is that good, dude? I'm starting to see some conversation about what's his name, Malik, uh, the LSU wide receiver, might be the better Malik neighbors. Might be. I mean, he coming had a out great of nowhere, day. and th- this is this happens every year, right? Where we 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 all develop idle hands, and Marvin Harrison Jr. has had nothing to gain. That's why he didn't really involve himself in the combine mm-hmm. or the pro day, or he's just kind of letting. We, you know, so people are forgetting about him, and Malik had a real flashy pro day. So it's like, ooh, whoa, wow, you zip zap, pow, ooh, pow, cool, boom. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a comic book. <laughs> Thwack would be the term. <laughs> I, I'm looking at a mock draft on NFL.com. I want to give the guy credit for whether he is completely right or absolutely nuts. Um, Ed, Eric Edholm uh, was the lead oh, writer. Eric's great. Yeah. Eric's the man from NFL.com. Yeah. Caleb Williams. J.J. McCarthy ahead of Jaden Daniels, Drake May, all taken in a row. Four I mean, consecutive I, I wouldn't quarterbacks be stunned in if, a row. If the first four picks are all, in fact, I just pulled up his mock. He's also got he's got Drake going to the Minnesota yes. Vikings, who trade up to four here. And this is my um, this is my tinfoil hat theory. All right, so which quarterback is experiencing the largest bump in draft stock? It's JJ McCarthy. It feels like McCarthy over the last so, week has suddenly gotten really saying. hot. And and who is pushing this agenda more than anybody? All right. It's Jim Harbaugh. Man, I tell you what, I've never been around a quarterback like uh-huh. JJ. JJ's great. JJ with this, JJ that. The team that stands to gain the most out of JJ McCarthy going in the top four is the Los Angeles Chargers. Because it'll Cause push, push Harrison down. That or? would push Marvin Harrison Jr. down. I this this JJ McCarthy is Jim Harbaugh's Trojan horse. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like Jim Harbaugh is like, hey, and, and I don't blame him for that. Like, good, that is who Jim Harbaugh is. And, and that is a skill of his that people don't give him enough credit for here. But by by kind of, you know, hyping him up, hyping him up. Hype, I mean, nobody knows how great Marvin Harrison Jr. is like Jim Harbaugh, obviously, from all their, their matchups in the past. And so yeah, I'm not going to fall for the like, ooh, here come the Chargers. The Chargers are actually going to contend with the Chiefs and the AFC West stuff. I'm not going to do that this year. But Justin Herbert having Marvin Harrison Jr. would be a ton of fun to watch from a football standpoint. And I think that Jim Harbaugh's laying the groundwork. I uh, I hate late mock drafts when you're trying to figure out what's going to happen and then on your the Cowboys' 19th pick. But, you know, whenever I look at a mock draft for the Spurs, especially not currently, but, you know, even kind of currently, because the Spurs were always drafting late in the first round, and it, the easy response was always some Euro, Right. But the Cowboys picking and uh, dealing with trades, a wide receiver, is that the last possible option you would think in the first round that would be required? Because this one has Brian Thomas, LSU wide receiver. It's never a bad idea to take wide receiver. Oh, like round. that idea. More Cowboy talk. And are the Spurs completely done? And we'll catch up on Sohan's injury. Hang around. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. This is Jim Rome. Have a take, don't suck on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. KTFM Floresville. Public health is more than just health care. While a doctor treats individuals, public health looks at the health of a community. At Metro Health, we research the risk of illness and take action to stop the spread of infectious diseases. We introduce prevention and early detection activities that help individuals enjoy healthier lives. We protect against environmental health hazards. Metro Health collaborates with community partners to improve health outcomes because we are all public health. Celebrate National Public Health Week with us. Learn more at sa.gov forward slash health. Don't let pain keep you from doing the things you love. I'm Dr. Jason Garrett from Arosti. At Arosti, we fix pain fast. Whether you've been living with chronic and nagging pain for years, or if you've recently experienced an injury, our goal is to get you out of pain as quickly as possible. Arosti is completely natural and non-invasive. Plus, Arosti accepts most insurance plans. There's a location near you. Visit Arosti.com. That's A-I-R-R-O-S-T-I.com. Arosti, we fix pain fast. The Angie's List You Know and Trust is now Angie, and we're so much more than just a list. We still connect you with top local pros and show you ratings and reviews, but now we also let you compare upfront prices on hundreds of projects and book a service instantly. We can even handle the rest of your project from start to finish. So remember, Angie's List is now Angie, and we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I, or download the app today. San Antonio, get ready for Car Fest, April 5th through the 7th at the Freeman Expo Hall. Enjoy a car show. Show, driver workshops entertainment plus the chance to win a free car and the best part admission is free learn more at carfestsa.org marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free so he was happy to read the disclaimer on turbo tax free edition roughly 37 percent of taxpayers qualify form 1040 and limited credits only see how at turbotax.com <laughs> that's me File your taxes 100% free with Turbo Tax Free Edition and get your max refund guaranteed. See if you qualify to file for free at TurboTax.com. See max refund guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Are you someone who tries to drive all distracted by your phone? Someone who props it on the steering wheel or peeks down at it for a glance or just scrolls and scrolls? If so, you could be the next person to get into a fender bender get a ticket, veer off the road, or even cause a crash that kills you or someone else. Enough already. Put the phone away or pay. Paid for by NHTSA. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, your joint pain keeping you from doing what you love, then you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your own body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director, Dr. Mitchell Shankup. 
Dr. Sheinkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call now to learn more about some exciting options in this revolutionary approach to get you long-term relief with no downtime. So what are you waiting for? Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. Locations in Hollywood Park, Westover Hills, and New Braunfels. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Paid for by jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know is a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. I'm down here reporting from Main Street food trucks with some people all looking quite excited. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me what's happening here? Y'all look uh, extremely happy. The Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. And with the jackpot.com lottery app, you can now buy official lottery tickets right on your phone. Lottery tickets right on your phone. Wait. You can really do that? Yes, and it's super easy. You just download the app, choose your lottery game, pick your lucky numbers, and get your winnings instantly. Well, there you have it, folks. You can now buy official lottery tickets anywhere, anytime, right on your phone. Just download the jackpot.com lottery app. Back to the studio. The Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, right now, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Never miss another jackpot. Go to the App Store right now and search for the jackpot.com lottery app the jackpot.com lottery app san antonio's sports star san antonio's sports center purdue advanced to the final four beating tennessee yesterday 72 66 zach Eady's 40 point performance and 11 rebounds uh, just dominated the game north carolina state is the cinderella in the final four they beat duke and the Yukon rolled past Illinois. The Spurs, a loss to the Golden State Warriors, 117 113 to end the three game winning streak. Sports Center is brought to you by Buyers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. Rembin Yama, three, two! Goes behind the back here. Oh! Little sidestep and a jam by Rembin Yama. Oh, he's knocked away by Rembin Yama! This is the Morning Huddle on 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star. With Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, R.J. Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and R.J. Hey, gather around. We got stuff to talk about. It's the Morning Huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. He's R.J. Ochoa. He manages the editing of Blogging the Boys and joins us this morning out and every morning creating the huddle with me, Rob Thompson, Easy E. Hefner, driving this boat for another hour. If you missed any of what we're doing, there's one place to go. It's sasportstar.com. There you can check out your brackets, see how you're doing. Uh, and at the same time, you can pop right over to uh, SAS, or to the audio vault. We call it uh, that. It is the Podcast Central brought to you by AA Best Bell Bonds. You can listen to all things we do, both now and earlier. Uh, that's us and the Blitz as well. So here we sit on a Monday. It was an interesting Spurs fan weekend. Started with a boom, ended with a bust, uh, though Wimby was consistent in his uh, greatness. Friday night was one of those games for the ages. One of those that I don't think a lot of people were paying attention to. I think the tournament had taken some and the Knicks were on a bit of a run. They had been beating teams pretty handily. Um, And it turned into a shootout, the likes of which we didn't expect because it took a Spurs collapse to make it as close as it was. But Jalen Brunson goes for 61 and that's not the story. Think of that. On a night at the end of March, Jalen Brunson Brunson ties the all-time scoring record for the biggest media market in the world. And the story wasn't even him. It was Wimby, 40 and 20. Welcome to the revolution. Welcome to the new world. The revolution will not be nationally televised, but the Bally folks saw something (laughs) extraordinary. We are uh, quite literally in this particular instance because of the teams involved partying like it's 1999. You know what I mean? You don't get to, you know, have that literally be true all too often. Uh, this was, I mean, just when you have a meal that slaps, you know what I mean? Like every every morsel is delicious. Um, in fact, I had one of those with you at Del Frisco's in Houston once. It was a steak, and you educated me. You said the only thing they seasoned that with was salt. That's it. And that's what made it so good. And that's what this was. And I know there was a little bit of touch and go, like, whoa, near the end. 
and maybe that was just maybe a little you know heartburn action but this was i mean this was divine this was this was a masterpiece. This was the greatest Spurs win of the season. I know there's not a lot to choose from, but I don't think that that's a debate. Oh, yeah, one in 18, as we sit. Uh, the numbers that came out of the game, you know, he'd already gotten a 40 game. He This season, he's had uh, a 40-20 game. He's had a 5-by-5. Five five. He's had a 10-block game. There's only one other player in the history of the world to do that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, two, Anthony Davis and Hakeem Olajuwon, although Wimby's done all that in the last seven weeks. Is it second game for an NBA player with a uh, 40 and 20 and another with over 60? Now, the last time that happened, Elgin Baylor and Wilt Chamberlain went at it. Elgin had 63 and Wilt had 78 and 43 <laughs> rebounds. But uh, so while Wimby is being extraordinary, he's being compared to the gods of yore. Anybody who got 43 rebounds was playing against some plumbers, but that's a whole other story. Do you want to address what LPJ Salazar has said in the brigade bar? I'd like you to read the comment out loud. The best part of Wimby throwing the ball into the crowd. Um, it yeah. was a celebratory moment that I absolutely loved. It was a great win. But if I'm going to jump on the Pacers and Rick Carlisle for giving the ball to a dude for his first NBA bucket while the guy on the other court got set some kind of personal record himself, and they give the ball to some dude to walk off. Jalen Brunson got 61 the other night. Tied an, N an NBA franchise record. And that's kind of a prize. It's kind of known on game on things like that. You get the ball. I mean, it's something to, to cherish. It might be going to the to the to Springfield. Yeah. Well, Hall of Fame. And Wimby chunked it in there. I get what he did. He threw it into the crowd. It was a celebration. He did the Timmy and then he did the toss. Beautiful thing. But uh, if you, next time, just do the Timmy and then walk away with the ball. There's no way on earth that as Wimby, you know, prepared to launch, he was like, you know, I, what, don't, I didn't want him to be thinking ball. about that. But next time then I why do. Are you, why? Because, oh, you know, the NBA is mad at him. He, he's paying a $25,000 fine. I'm not alone in this. I, I think... The dude wants to throw the ball into the crowd. Throw it to the moon. Yes. I, I really don't care. I mean, like, go crazy. But like, on nights where the other dude didn't go get 61 and the game ball would have mattered something for the rest of his life. I think Brunson will be okay. Well, I think, I think that, that very well could be the crowning achievement of his NBA career. He might might not. He won't get 61 ever again. I don't know if you could say well, that. Well, if he does, Jones. that ball will never come back. That ball, well, the thing that he held to get that 61st point. What about the person point. who has the ball? What Think about their story. What a great story that is. Oh, yeah. They caught a ball that Wimby, and they get to go sell it back to Brunson and make some money. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> but I, so and the thing is, wins. I don't want to come off as the mad dude. I'm just saying if I'm popped today after the game, practice, hey, man, next time, celebrate appropriately, but don't throw the ball. I completely disagree because not that this is necessarily that, but we've been almost begging Wimby to be more of an alpha. Yeah, I loved it. Wimby to flex. Hell yeah, dude. Flex. And he did. Want. He gave us the Timmy. That's all. That was enough, man. That wasn't. No. You can't just do the Timmy. Like, we're not just trying to relive the past. Like, do your own thing. Carve out your own path. Well, chunking it's the ball of the stands fine. is probably not the best way to go. Did I know you you're going to make a lot of money. And I know if, uh, this is him postgame, by the way. See, the question wasn't so much about See, he doesn't even really get it. This shows you the youth. This is him post game about tossing the ball. Oh, surprise! I say when I when I threw the ball, I, I thought maybe yeah, like I re, I remember players being fine for this, but it was it was always in it like a bad, they threw it always in a bad way, you know. I threw it not you know to to make uh, some 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 guys day, but uh, it's um no, it was it's funny. It's just funny. But after that, I was like I was like no, nah, it's fine. Like I, I threw it to you know. To please somebody, it's not yeah. like I'm it's trying to hurry it or throwing it at somebody. Yeah, I'm not, they, yeah. They don't care about intent, I guess, on that. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, intent? See, nobody's mad at you for that. I'm not mad at you for trying to hurt somebody. I think you took away from a moment from a fellow NBA brother. That's I, Throwing it in the stands, I don't care if it, I mean, it's going to hit somebody. Yeah, it's going to hit somebody. And you pay the price if you do that. I don't think he had any malicious intent. And I think he took it that way. Like, were you trying to hurt somebody? No, it wasn't about that. It's about another dude showing some professional courtesy. Like, we won the game. I gave you the hug. I get the picture. But here's the ball, man. Go put that in your hall. 61. 
That's worthy. Now, I'm going to get that about 30 times in my career. So, Jalen, I hope you enjoy your one. Here's your ball. But in all seriousness, it was awesome. I love to see the flex. That's what we want from this cat. But as we head on, there are some questions. Was Friday night the exclamation point to the season? Because if that's the last time I see him, that wasn't, I mean, uh, performing like that. Um, That was an all-NBA performance. Now, I know you can't have an all-NBA team of big men. Unfortunately, the guys I'm comparing them against are going to get the votes too. But if you're asking me, after what I witnessed last night, name the five best players in the NBA and only judge them on their best night. So let's just take that, not consistency, not age. Take the five guys that are capable of the five most incredible NBA point defense nights. And Wimby's one of them. I don't think there's a question that he's one. I mean, it's not even like a kind of debate if he's one of them. You know, he's 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 must see when he especially when he's on, but he he can be on at a moment's notice. And that's what Friday night kind of was. Even last night, I know that they lost, but I mean Wimby and we can debate the over the back, you know, stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but like <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna happen. <laughs> this, this is it's a new normal that we're calibrating right like like the whole world the whole nba is, is calibrating what to expect on on a nightly basis from Wimby, just because of who he is and how spectacular he is and the knicks learned firsthand what that spider web is like when you're trapped in the middle of it i mean it's tough business the, and the nip you know they're charging that was a, that was such a good win it was hard fought you know that's two consecutive games where they can't they overcame some some of those third quarter doldrums that just will plague these guys. And that's you know one of that's that's the Spurs El Huapo. Um, our our, our consist our, our consistency of assists has maintained. We're still padding the record. We're at well mm-hmm. over 130 games now. Uh, sharing the ball well, but the, the 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 lagging and the ongoing issue I think with the with the Spurs when we continue to watch them is as much as Wimby is phenomenal offensively. The team is sometimes better without him. And I think that's going to be kind of the, the question going into the offseason that will apply to the draft and everything else. Some tough news. It appears that Jeremy Stohan, that ankle, is, it's, it's got an impingement. I don't know what that means, but it, it can't be good. Um, probably done for the year. The season's done Friday. It's not like it's or a little over a week, so under a week. So sounds worse than it is, but it looks like Jeremy might be done. I mean... He's had a great run if this, Mm -hmm. you know, a recent run to close the season, if this really is the end. And I think he's proven his worth and proven his value to being a part of the future. I mean, I, I would, I can say that. I think you can agree about him and about Devin. It's kind of it. You know what I mean? Like there's some other cases we can argue for that Collins wants to come back for another cup of coffee. Okay. You know what I mean? But why do you hate Trey Jones so much? Uh, Trey Jones. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Well, I'm so (laughs) used to you hating him that, you know, I, he was in a blind spot for a moment. That's it, though. I'm not really married to anybody else beyond with, that. With group. Jeremy gone, uh, is it more incentive to maybe put Victor on the shelf? I think that we we've been talking for a long time about how we kind of needed something strong to close things out, mm-hmm. and we got that. We did. Right? Like it, it, it. This we we use this analogy a lot, but it it really does feel like making your last you know back basket before you got to go in for dinner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like. Let it be. You know what I mean? Like, just go, go in on a make and, and feel good and live to fight another day. Um, you know, and, and I understand playing everybody, you know, last night. And, and that was fine. And that was fun. And it's the Warriors and it's Steve Kerr. And there's a little bit of that to it. But do, do we really need to see them against Memphis? Well, I, you know? no, it comes down to do they want to chase the fact that they th- this could go down as the worst team in franchise history? They've got seven games and two games to tie, three to maybe get themselves into ne- the next worst team in NBA history, going back to the year we tanked for David, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if it's a chase to get over that, I get it. Pop could come out and say, you know what? This team is way too good. Wink, wink. To not be to be the worst team in franchise history, we are actively going to get 21 wins, which you shouldn't have to say. But if you by you know his substitution pattern and all that, we'll we'll know. But if if it's that's the reason he's playing, I'm in. But if it's if it's just for more minutes and more experience, there's a lot of minutes and experience coming over the summer. I'm just soon not have to deal with like an ankle impingement. 
I can't wait to have uh, Dr. Garrett on Wednesday to tell me exactly what an impingement is. Can't be good, but it sounds like just enough not to play. Yeah, I mean, again, we've seen, like, and this was true a week ago. We just feel better about it now because of the Knicks win. We've seen everything we need to see. Wimby's won Rookie of the Year. We've, I guess, accomplished everything we need to accomplish. But th- this was never about this season. You know what I mean? And you have to accept that now. You can't let emotions right. wash over you and like, oh, no, I wish it were different. No, like it is what we knew it was going to be. We were led to believe something entirely different. They're winding it down. We'll make sure you're aware of all things. We do it every day. We talk silver and black at 7 o'clock. Make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. That way you get the knowledge that you so desperately require on days like this. Coming back, how do your brackets look? The Final Four is in play. Doesn't mean it's all over. And uh, by the way, we got a big game tonight. Let's look around the college basketball world as uh, we got our brackets in place and the madness continues. Then after that, you know what we do on Mondays. We air our grievances. We want your Mm. badness out and your goodness in. So anything that bothered you over the weekend, in about 15 minutes, it'll be your chance to let it go. We're airing grievances, but first, the madness continues. We'll be right back. This is 94.1, and you're on San Antonio Sports Star. We are winding to the end of the mania that is March. And if your brackets are broken, don't worry about it. There's still plays to be had. I'm talking about heading to your favorite sports book. Mine is BetUS.com. And if it's not yours, it will be soon. Because if you're not a member, listen to what they got going now. If you want to sign up today, BetUS.com will offer you your first three deposits. You get 125% on that deposit. They're going to bonus you three times. I've never seen this before. And I've been with BetUS for years. It's the only book I've ever endorsed here. And heck, they've been around for 30 years. That's right. It's the industry's craziest deal. And you can take advantage of it now. They've also got 10% gambler's insurance. And it's even more at BetUS.com. They accept crypto. And they'll take a massive 200% crypto sign-up bonus as well. That's why you go to BetUS. Easy to sign up. Either call them 1 800 MyBetUS or go to betus.com. Either way, you can get yourself signed up, take advantage of those bonuses, and start playing today. And while you're there, notice the casino. They got that. Most books don't. So if you're looking for all the teasers and the props and all the fun stuff, the live betting, of course they got that. But the casino action is just as well and the great bonuses there. It is betus.com. It is my book. Make it yours. Call them 1 800 MyBetUS or go to betus.com. It's where the game begins. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star is for home for national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Hey, we're David and Greg Figueroa, founders of Melinda's Hot Sauce. Sometimes brand testimonials feel, well, unbelievable so we have a fresh take tasty monials comments from real people on the internet who love melinda's balance of hot meat and fresh flavorful ingredients at 2021 do work says legendary <laughs> nobody does it better what was that sounds for fire emoji touchdown emoji and 100 percent emoji okay at snack food mafia says i love how they are a thicker hot sauce and not some watery junk love it at Mushroom writes, best hot sauce west of the Mississippi, also the best hot sauce east of the Mississippi. Pro tip, that's the whole United States. Finally, at IGP1 always says, smack so f- hard. We love to hear that as much as the FCC. Set your mouth on flavor with Melinda's Hot Sauces. Find them at your local retailer or online at melindas.com. That's M E L. I-N-D-A-S dot com. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open. With a true Vegas feel, the Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Paid for by jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. I'm down here reporting from Main Street food trucks with some people all looking quite excited. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me what's happening here? Y'all look uh, extremely happy. The Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. And with the jackpot.com lottery app, you can now buy official lottery tickets right on your phone. Lottery tickets right on your phone. Wait. You can really do that? Yes, and it's super easy. You just download the
the app, choose your lottery game, pick your lucky numbers, and get your winnings instantly. Well, there you have it, folks. You can now buy official lottery tickets anywhere, anytime, right on your phone. Just download the jackpot.com lottery app. Back to the studio. The Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, right now, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Never miss another jackpot. Go to the App Store right now and search for the jackpot.com lottery app. The jackpot.com lottery app. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all quarter moon 14-seer AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter moon plumbing, heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M160043. DACLA 0007434585. Good morning, everybody. Jason Minix here from the Blitz. We are back from Las Vegas. We'll start at 2 o'clock talking about our incredible weekend at Circa Las Vegas. And the Final Four is now set. We're reacting to it. And yes, RJ Ochoa, we were very well hydrated at Circa Las Vegas during the show. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, I know. I don't think you do. Uh, the, you're talking about the, the cases of water sitting behind them at this. Uh, there, of their time uh, in Vegas. And one of these photos kind of just caught my attention because there was like 400 bottles of water behind them. And, but, and, and it wasn't as if they were in some kind of you know, environment where there were a lot of people that would need these, but it was just Jason and Joe. It's like these these bottles were all in the corner just for them. I've been around Jason and Joe in a lot of circumstances. I've never seen them put down that much H2O. So I have no idea why they were hoarding all hoarding all of this. I think for one, they were outside, weren't they? Yeah, they were outside when they got it. They were a little hot. They had some heat issues on Thursday. So they had to, you know, balance out, get the electrolytes back to normal after the evenings they had. Yeah, Circo was a great host. We look forward to doing some other stuff with them. Maybe next time going ourselves as we keep hearing about the fantastics. Make sure you're here with the Blitz at 2 o'clock. Uh, many of the stories I'm sure can't be told, and I will can't wait to hear those as well. And we're going to air our grievances in just a couple minutes. So if you got any problems, uh, now's your opportunity. You jump on the bar and start, or you can call us 656-3776, 656-ESPEN. It looks like we are headed toward a, uh, a battle of the behemoths as the brackets have wound down. You know, the favorites carried us a long way, but that's been a long time ago, it feels like. I think the saddest I felt for any of the teams was Houston and Jamal Shedd. That was, that was yeah. such a hard-fought basketball game. And Shedd, he knew when he rolled his ankle that he had impinged it. No, Whatever he did, it was just... And they were so valiant in fighting, Duke. There just wasn't enough. That was, uh, that was awful. That blew a lot of people's brackets up right there. I mean... Like in a general sense, I wasn't bummed to see Houston lose, but you never want to see anybody go out like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, you know, that's not right. That's not cool. That's not sports. And so, um, huge bummer. Their last win was over AM. Connecticut is rolling. Just, oh, dude. just rolling. They're, they get better every game. It's hard to even consider what they're headed toward, but any team in an Elite Eight game, that can rip off a 30 to nothing run. I don't care who it is. 
That's um, I, I can't you, imagine I mean, any money not no- going on them all the way through. Thirty to nothing is a joke. I mean, you know, it, it's I, that's actually getting getting a thirty to nothing put on you is worse than what? How long did uh, did Virginia go without scoring a point? What was it? You know, oh, in yeah. the like in the first minutes. Fourth? Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, but th- this is worse than that. You know what I'm saying? Because for for you know. To not score is is unfortunate, but sometimes it's just like, hey, I mean, you're you're all cold. You know what I'm saying? But to have thirty po- unanswered put on you requires failure in a really widespreading sort of way against an offensive team. Illinois has guys that can put it in the buck. I mean, that was that was uh, as thorough a beating in the Elite Eight as I've seen in quite. It reminded me of UNLV and, and you know the Duke years where they were just so much better than anybody else. It just wasn't close. And this mm-hmm. is where we're headed to. And on the other side of the fence, we saw Zach Eady hang 40 on the best defensive team in the SEC. Despite best efforts, man. And these guys had seen each other before. They had played in Maui over Christmas. They knew what Eady was going to do, and he still got 40. It, it reminded me of a great football team that is third and three. They'll point to the hole they're running at. We're going to come right here. Stop us. They, he's the, uh, standing there. Stop him. That's the Cam Newton, uh, Clay Matthews. Like, here comes that wheel ride. He's like, oh, you've been watching film, huh? That's cool. Watch this. Watch like, that this. Is one of, yeah, that's one of the coldest things that ever happened in the history of sports. And that this is in that neighborhood. It's it's a really badass thing to to know you're unstoppable at something and to ha- to just kind of break another team down with that over and over and over again. And we're we're headed toward this matchup this weekend. <laughs> This Thursday, or I'm sorry, Saturday, with Zach Eady and and the face of the in the name of the tournament and DJ Burns the third. I mean, it, mm-hmm. it is we got the seven four dude and the four hundred pound dude. We got the guy that has what well, he'll be the two time Naismith Player of the Year. I cannot imagine him not getting it. it. It's a done deal. Um, headed up against the best story, a guy that's not going to play in the NBA. I mean, it's not David versus Goliath. It's That's almost close. it's it's Cinderella versus Gretchen from Mean Girls, right? Like the complete and total, you know, cast off versus the the girl who has everything going for her. Um, no, not Gretchen, uh, Regina. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I think either way. I know you're the Mean Girls official. I am just here. deep into it. Uh, right, he, he's a rather stoic cat. Edie. They're not he, for a guy. The way that a big man gets is allowed to be battered and beaten. There's no other athlete in any other sport that is allowed to just get beaten up more than a 7 3 center in basketball. Mm-hmm. It, it starts from a young age. Hey, you're tall. You should take it. And look at his arms. Look at the scrapes and the scratches. And the. it's like he had been coming through a cactus field. That's. No one gets beat up more than a big man like Zach Eady because you're supposed to be able to handle it. And he he's so stoic that post game, after taking down Tennessee, there was a little bit of a, a vinegar there. I didn't expect to hear this from him. There were so many coaches that that looked over me. Um, like you could name a program, I can name a coach that looked over me. The Tennessee Rick Barnes is a great coach, but he he was in a bunch of our practice, looked over me like. He, it's kind of been the story of my life. People have doubted me. People look past me and can't do that anymore. Can't do that anymore. 40 burger baby in the elite eight. Um, maybe, maybe just relax a little, dude. You know, you've, you've, Hey, you've man, already proven people wrong. We you want know? you. What the, the problem with Purdue and guys like that is they have to become so stoic. Because they all, if you get upset by the way you're treated by the refs, you're never going to be treated well. You're always mm-hmm. going to be fouled. You're always going to have to deal with more than anybody else on the court. Because one, where you play, there's people in front, and the ref doesn't see everything. And, and two, you're seven four. They're gonna they're gonna allow a few other things. And for him to be stoic like that and not a fighter, that's what one of the problems with bigs is. They crawl into the shell because they have, they have to put up with so much. And to hear him say that and put up forty. That that raised his draft stock to me three or four spots. And he's done he's done it in the tourney. He finally is carrying a team. I like him. I like him a lot. Not only is the is he the player of the year for sure, 
I think he's a first round draft pick. And I didn't think he was, or at least not until the late, up until this tournament began. He's got something that is incredibly unique and finding the right spot. If Boban could play for 10, 12 years and a myriad of other dudes, he's got all of that and more. He reminds me more of Yao than Boban. He's got a chance. It's just, it's such a unique path, you know, that doesn't have, you're right. I mean, there, there is precedent, but it's not a large one. You know, there, there are more, I don't want to call them failures, but there are more, you know, there are more misses than there are Bobons. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, you know, th 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 those stories are unicorns for a reason. And maybe he has that potential. I mean, certainly if, if anyone has in recent memory, it, it's probably him, but it's not a guarantee is all I'm saying. You're, you're speaking with some high level of belief mm -hmm. that it is 100% going to transpire into the NBA and it might not. That's very, very true. But uh, I do know something good going to happen tonight. We've got a phenomenal Elite Eight game tonight as LSU and Iowa fight for the Final Four. We thought it was going to happen, and here it is. It's part of the grievance process. Why are we going to have to watch it tonight instead of next weekend? Hey, if you got something to air out, if you got a grievance to let go, hold on tight. Now's your chance. You can type it. Or you can talk at 656-3776-656 ESPN. We're here to help, and we'll be right back doing it. You're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, we are back from Las Vegas, back in studio, and, well, we got a Final Four to talk about. Yeah, Final Four is set. We'll react to that plus stories from Vegas that are shareable. The Blitz starts at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 941 San Antonio Sports Star. I spray and scrub, but the soap scum in my bathtub is still there. I spray and scrub, but the burnt sauce on my stovetop sticks around. Sprays can leave grime behind, but new Mr. Clean Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser combines the scrubbing power of an eraser with the cleaning power of Dawn to melt away tough messes on contact. Just wet, squeeze, and erase. Stop spraying, start erasing, and clean with more magic than ever with new Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Easy Cater. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Whether you need food for catered meetings or company events, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Seriously, it's all right here in one place. Coffee, snacks, breakfast, daily employee lunches, you name it. Whether you run a nonprofit or a company with offices nationwide, we've got you covered. Anywhere work happens, Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. It's one thing falling in love with a house, picturing yourself moving in and calling it home, and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating, mortgage lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide. Because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Are you someone who tries to drive all distracted by your phone? Someone who props it on the steering wheel or peeks down at it for a glance or just scrolls and scrolls? If so, you could be the next person to get into a fender bender, get a ticket, veer off the road, or even cause a crash that kills you or someone else. Enough already. Put the phone away or pay. Paid for by NHTSA. Are you ready to party with a purpose? Haste to the North Side is Thursday, April 18th at the beautiful Security Service Event Center. This elevated Fiesta event for foodies includes on site cover parking, entertainment, unlimited tastings from over 30 premier restaurants, countless curated wines and craft beers, hosted by Brighton Center, presented by HEB. Purchase tickets at tasteofthenorthside.org. Proceeds benefit Brighton Center, the largest nonprofit in San Antonio serving children with disabilities through pediatric therapy and education initiatives. 
Paid for by jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hello? This is your fortune. Listen, the Powerball jackpot is over $1 billion. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy your official state lottery tickets right from your phone. I can do that. With the jackpot.com lottery app, you can. Your fortune is calling. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Go to the app store and search for the jackpot.com lottery app. Hard work and dreams lead to success, but easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com guarantees. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. This is the Morning Huddle with Rob Thompson and R.J. Ochoa. Welcome, newcomers. The tradition begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're going to hear about it. Here are the grievances with Rob and R.J. Our intent is to improve your day by allowing you to exhale some things that are bothering you, that are in your way, a grievance, as it were. He's RJ. I'm Rob. Uh, we're glad you're with us here on the morning huddle. Uh, make sure you've subscribed appropriately and liked as you could uh, the this fantastic show. Remember, we're just the beginning of the day. The bliss is just around the corner. Excuse me. A couple sneezes. A lot of man, my allergies have been killing me this year. Is it worse for you than normal? It's been tough. Um, it's it's a tough year. Spring is, is springing, and um, that's where we're at. Uh, my, I'm going to start things off because this is the thing that it's the easiest thing to, and the lowest hanging fruit for the anger. And it's uh, and you know it has to do with tonight. We've got a phenomenal basketball game, an elite eight game. You got Caitlin and all that is, and LSU that all that is. Champion versus superstar. Uh, difference in games. You got a. 40-year coach has never been anywhere. You got the latest the latest iteration of the Bobby Knight going on uh, with uh, Coach Mulkey there at LSU. Phenomenal. But how they got here and how the uh, women have progressed has really been kind of shaded by what went on in Portland yesterday. As uh, they mismeasured the three-point line. And games had gone on. This region, there had been game after game. How many? Four games. This was the the fourth of four games, or the third of three games. That's right, third of three games. Um, one three-point line was closer than the other, and they had other games that had been played. <laughs> and no one had noticed, which, first of all, when you see the picture, it's kind of noticeable, especially the uh, on the top of the key. It just it, it looks weird. And by the camera angles, I'm surprised other people hadn't noticed, but they noticed in warm-ups yesterday. I don't know how this can happen there's just there's no you know the court person whoever it is there's no there's nothing you can say that can make this justifiable or understandable and right I'm, like yeah. there's there, there's nothing nothing and it, it throws everything that happened in that bracket in the in the question north carolina state beat texas 76 66 it really wasn't a close game but we'll never know what could have been because well, they played on a mismatched court and even in the game prior, North Carolina State shot poorly from three on that side of the court. 
you wonder if that had anything to do with it. Gonzaga, eighteen percent from three. You wonder if that had anything to do with it. And even if you can't prove that it did, you certainly can't prove that it didn't. You know, I mean, how does this happen? How does it happen? How? How do you let it go this far? And if I'm coach of either squad, I know they talked it out and said, you know, at the end of the day, it'll be fair. We're both doing this. I I would have let it go that far. I would have not only, I would have been a terrible team. I would have gotten my team, gotten in a bus and driven away. You obviously weren't prepared, nor do you care. This wouldn't even I, happen in a UIL state of Texas game. This happened in an NCAA women's regional. The year that the spotlight is literally the brightest as it's ever been. <laughs> I just can't fathom how this happened. I, I it just I can't fathom. If I'm if I'm a book, you gotta refund everybody's money. Because the game well, I bet on had fair three point lines. That's the game I bet on. If um, imagine if you took some sort of prop over under a three point. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I mean, it's so I don't know the fix. I don't. I just know that everybody involved in putting on this tournament needs to be fired. Remember a couple of years ago, the women's final four here in San Antonio, the the weight room they rolled out for the ladies a couple of yoga mats and some oh, pink hand right. weights. This is this is the best grievance I've ever had because be 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 serious NCAA you know we're, we're not even I mean the weight room thing was completely inexcusable don't get me wrong this is literally the court <laughs> right like th- this is literally if Gene Hackman had gone and measured it in a movie it wouldn't have worked you know what I mean Th- this like, is oh, literally wait. the, the, <laughs> it's not the, the fact- same as home yeah exactly yeah <laughs> you know they would have been all, I don't know, man, uh, back at the field house, it's uh, actually different, you know, so whatever. But, I mean, there's, it, it is, embarrassing isn't a strong enough word. It's an indictment on their process is what it is. Uh, and there's, oh, well, you know, and even, I forget, I guess it was the North Carolina State coach. Says, I don't know what to tell you. This yeah, Only in women's Carolina- college basketball would this happen. I, only in women's college basketball would this happen. The North Carolina State coach was like, yeah, let's just play. Why would you do that? I mean, it worked, but and maybe because you're the underdog, but Vic Schaefer, the Texas coach, I mean, dude, like, I would not have played. Uh, no. I, I would, uh, no way. What do you think? Uh, you got an air, a grievance to air? Because that's an easy one. I mean, that's I that's not a grievance. That is just an outlandish fallacy of life where you go, "This, uh, there's got to be eight guys got to lose their job for this. I have a technological one, which we've done before. Oh, I'm good. Here, I, I like this. All right. So super appreciative of Google Maps, Waze, whatever your cup of tea is. I'm very thankful, right? They help us out, get to and from. I should be allowed to disable the audio because there's nothing more annoying than, okay, I'm going to go here, but I need the directions, set the directions start a podcast, start some music, right? and then, you you know, they you get to talking. a stop sign. Yeah, and it's like, oh, go straight here, whatever, this and that. If you're showing me the directions on the screen, thank you. Dude, what yours again, doesn't do, you need to get on Waze. You can do that. Well, I'm a Google person. Well, see, there's your so, problem. Well, you're the Android guy. I thought you would have been the Google person. But what I'm saying is I should be allowed to disable the audio to where it doesn't override something that I'm playing from my phone as well, like in, a podcast. In, in ways, if you will use ways, which I there, it has its issues too. I don't know which one's the best, but I use ways. Um, you can disable to where you only get alerts, like "Hey, there's a cop, there's a broke down car, there's a delay." Everything else is just the map, and that's pretty much what I leave it on. But what I like to do is on, the reason I like ways is I can get the weird voice. You can choose all kinds of crazy voices, like right now. Um, I've got a, uh, it's a Ghostbusters. So you get all kind of funny little quips that just come up while you're driving it. I find it pleasing. And it's a, completely shocking to anybody who's never been in your car before when something like Dan Aykroyd comes on and says, hey, take a right. It's like, is that well, Dan that Aykroyd? You want the audio. I don't yeah. want the audio. Though. Well, no, I don't no. want all of the updates either. I need to, I know where I'm going. I use Waze more for a timer. <laughs> I put on Waze just to know what time I got to beat to get where I'm going. That's the only reason it's there. I know where right. I'm going most of the time. Pledge said that you can disable the audio. We'll yeah. see. You need to that. you need to we'll dig see. into that. But you, you're right. Yeah. I, nothing more annoying than right when the best song or the best thing comes on. And hey, uh, slow down, turn right, turn left. 
400 feet, yeah. 300 feet, yeah, 200 you're, you're feet. Like, durr, durr, durr. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're vibing and you're, you're about to hit, you know, the bridge and then boom, it, it, you know, the Google later. So, uh, um, any Easter concerns, issues, anything you'd like to voice there? Nothing there. I mean, you're you're the one taking us in that direction. It seems like you have something. I have, really, I don't. But see, Easter, um, when all your kids are like of age, a lot of the magic of Easter is gone. Like we didn't even hide eggs this year, and I think we're going to have to get back to it. I, I did see. I had some friends, and they have uh, you know all older kids, and they had a uh, a dog egg hunt. That's kind of cool. And actually, I think that probably would be a lot more fun to watch. I think it because the. The dogs would be like sniffing around. Yeah, and, and I, I could and see the, that. The dogs had to stay on a leash. Ooh. So that that might be the next, but I have no real grievance other than I was led to believe the weather was going to be better yesterday, and it was never good. You just kept waiting for okay, five more minutes, sun's going to come out, but it never really happened. But that's not really a grievance. But you, you get to Easter and you don't hunt eggs. My cooking was good, but you know, it's it's all about the hunt. Well, the video you sent looked incredible. I uh, cook. I, I did. Um, I did knock it out of the park, as far as I'm concerned. I, I did the, no grievance there at all. None. None. I, um, I know Pledge is in the chat, so I have a, another grievance. It's not technologically related, but um, well, it's going to upset Pledge, and I, just, you know, n among other people, it'll upset him. Um, but are you ready for it? Uh, <laughs> let oh, the sorry, bad air out, man. That's what we're here for. I saw a tweet this morning. So it's actually from yesterday, because today is April Fools. Today is it, obviously April first. Um, yesterday was the 10 year finale or 10 year anniversary, excuse me, of the, how I met your mother series finale. I still have a grievance with that. It's been a decade worst series finale of all time. I mean, game of Thrones was bad. I didn't watch lost all the way through, but everybody says that was bad. People say that Dexter was really bad uh, on the boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing is as worse as the, how I met well, your I mother. Thought you series just met finale. the mom. I thought we just got the story. This is how we met. Are you unaware of this, really? No, like, it's another you... one of those series I didn't watch. I mean, I, I I'm not like, proud of it. I feel like I'm okay detailing what happened. Yeah, I you think know, it's, it's been a decade. Been, I think you can years. give away the, yeah. The whole premise of the show is that you're uncovering slowly, you know, details about the mother, right? Like, that's the the pitch, right? That's the, the gist of the show. And the final season of the show takes place over the course of, like, one weekend in real time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a it's a wedding uh, for Neil Patrick Harris's character and Kobe Smolders' character. Well, so the final episode is like fast forwarding like 30 years into the future. And the wedding that we spent the entire season leading up to that couple gets divorced. Um, so like it meant nothing. And the and Kobe Smolders' character winds up the person or winds up being the person who the main character ends up with because <laughs> the mom dies. The, you know, she she like what? develops she develops an illness and you see that and you know, whatever, and she passes away. And so the whole premise is, uh, you know, Ted is telling his children about how he met their late mother. And then at the end, they're like, dad, that's really great. You know, mom's been gone a long time. It's time for you to move on. You clearly love aunt Robin, who is a person he dated in the very beginning of the show. And then he goes and gets her. It's so stupid. I mean, it, it was completely and totally botched. I hate everything about it. Well, <laughs> and that's 10 years later. That's a, Oh, I'm gross. still mad. I'm I'm still mad about it. I was so invested in that show, and I I I went from being a hundred percent invested to zero percent invested. That's never happened to me with a show like that. Like it, they they just zapped. I haven't you know like you watch The Office or Parks and Rec or whatever this and that like when they're on. I have zero interest in watching another episode of How I Met Your Mother ever again. This isn't a grievance. In fact, this is applause. Did you see what the Oakland A's fans did on opening day? They didn't show up. Well, they showed up. They just went to the parking lot. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's smart. That's completely cool. I yeah, wouldn't have. I wouldn't even have done that. But I like the idea of you know one last parting shot. Did you see how many people were at the game? Seventeen thousand. Was it? Well, that was seventeen thousand tickets sold. There weren't seventeen thousand people in that in well, that yeah. stadium. But uh, that, that's the ultimate. It's... In yeah, okay, we're here, but we ain't coming in. I wonder if it's so quiet that if you shouted, if you did your mashed potatoes thing earlier, if if you could be heard in, in the whole building. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's it's got to be that quiet and that eerie in there. Uh, I did not uh, uh, receive a single morsel, not one kernel of candy corn for for the Easter holiday, which I am thankful for. That is not a grievance. But I did get a uh, a chocolate bunny 
okay. that, um, you know, it's a big chocolate bunny. It's not big, okay. but it's probably four inches. And, the, you know, you expect normally the chocolate bunnies to have nothing in them. They're like hollow. Right. I mean, it's this the, the economics okay. of chocolate. It's a lot of chocolate. You wouldn't want to. Okay. This one was full of like ooze, like like syrup. Yes. A full Ew. bunny of uh, cherry cordial syrup. Oh, gross, yes. Man. You need a warning oh, to that. Gross. It was like uh, it was a it was a it was a uh, like a, a, a gag gift. So you it, like and took it a looked bite so and then good. Had to like pour it out. On oh, it. yeah. You just poured it out of the head. See, I, I'm an ear guy. I bite the ears off first. Wow, what about you? Now that we're now that we're through Easter, what 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 are the decorations going to be in your house? Oh, they're like, already out. Towards we have a. I know, uh, what... uh, we're headed toward Fiesta. I hung the wreaths yesterday. Okay. See, we're already okay. transitioning. We've already pulled out the Fiesta stuff. I've well, already got on, all the. On a national level, right? What what is what is the average person's house turned to? So like you know, we uh, go from summer like, and Fourth people... of July is the next holiday. Remember? I was going to say like Memorial Day is mm-hmm. is the next wave of of decorations that we start to get. And it's not that far away, man. We are almost there. You know, it's the I, official I, start of summer. It feels the, the official start of summer in San Antonio isn't Fiesta. It is. I mean, it's the I'm Strawberry probably... Festival. Oh, that's that's the official beginning. Fiesta just has reinforced the fact. But whenever you start hearing Strawberry Festival tickets on sale, summer's here. It's going to be hot and dry. I heard somebody say on a podcast yesterday they were getting ready for spring break. I feel like it's a little late for spring break. Maybe that's just me. That's exciting. If, yeah. if your spring break's not in March, it's not really real. You know what I mean? No, you're you're headed towards summer break. But that's you know, we, saying, we, if your if your spring break is on the other side of Easter, it's not a spring break. It's it's a weird break. It's a break, and you can have it, but it's not spring break. I, I feel bad for anybody who had to deal with that. Uh, are we upset with the Astros? 0-4. Oh, it's not, it, especially against the Yankees, man. Swept like that. Soto's a beast, but not that big of a beast. It was pretty pathetic. There's no doubt about it. I, I, um, have you seen? Have you watched them? I, I'll be honest. I haven't seen a single pitch thrown. I've seen a little bit of highlights. Do they look flat, or is it just a, a Yankee at home? We're going nuts. Joe Espada said something. Um that they were on the wrong side of luck. And I think they lost two games by one run. So they did have some weird fluky things happen. I think that's a weird excuse. Um, I'm not going to kill this dude after, you know, four dudes is, or four games as a, as a manager, but um, you know, they just, it was a little too little too late for them. I think that maybe it's a kind of a sleepy start. I think that there's no reason at all to panic, but there's certainly some reason to be frustrated because you know, you shouldn't be, you, you coming off of a, of a bouncing in the playoffs where you, you know, lost every single home game in the ALCS. It would have been nice to see a little bit more fire and energy, but you know, those things come with time. Uh, Rangers uh, took a series with the Cubs, um, fitting start to them. Though all the baseball news this weekend, it did get a little quiet on the uh, Otani front, which I guess is good news for everybody involved. Although if I'm Otani, I'm waiting for the next shoe to drop. There's going to be something more coming, but at least baseball got it quiet for a day or two. Of course they did. That was their plan. So. Their plan? I, I think so. I think it's to try to kill it. You just wonder how long it's going to be trapped and killed. Uh, tonight, uh, we have the the game that we have looked forward to since the brackets hit. You have a favorite in this? You like LSU? Reese? I'm, you like Car- the Iowa sharpshooters? I'm, I'm not I'm not betting against her. If you want to, that's up to you. No way. First of all, I'm, a- I'm angry that they're playing. I understand the idea behind it. And, and while this is the most... It, Interesting game. They're, these are neither one of these two are the two best teams. South Carolina's best team in the country, and I think we're all they're all just waiting to see who's going to get beaten by a, a team that is just built to last more than a year. But it's it's going to come down to officiating for me and the way that uh, LSU brings it and the way they play. If it's called tight, Iowa will win. But they're going to. I mean, it's it's the easy answer. Iowa's a bunch of sharpshooters, and they feed off Caitlin, and if she's open and she can feed. They're going to hit threes like crazy. And LSU's going to get them in the paint. As much as I don't like it, I think LSU's going to get this one. And Caitlin will wave goodbye and head to the WNBA. and Or maybe the big three. Uh, no. Iowa wins tonight. And Astros get their first one of the season tonight. Uh, make sure you stay with us all day. We are just the beginning of a full sporting day. Don't fall for any of those uh, April Fool's jokes. Hey, RJ, have a good one. We'll see everybody tomorrow. It's been the huddle. Your home for the Cowboys.